Sense of becoming no kind of love or fear. Lies that are flickering. Faces just disappear tonight. You won't give me inside. has been fair and a gloom and a broken smiles oh no this is the time every chance led into this to this night to this thrill we're gonna be Oh. Uh -huh. 
Bonsoir. Good morning. Good afternoon. Good evening. Hi, everyone. Sorry if I scared anyone. I feel like I did. I'm going to turn the music down because I feel like it's a bit louder than I'd like it to be. It's my titch. Is that better? Can you hear me fine? Can you hear the music fine? You vibing? Everything good? Welcome, everyone, to session 17 of Throwing Top Sands, The Shaman and the Fox. Hiya, Frankie. Hiya. Lucy, that's it. <laughs> Sorry, I forgot, completely forgot like who, who you were for a second, Lucy. Hello, Lucy. How you doing? Perfect. Also, thank you, humble folks in Georgia, for uh, retweeting at the stream. You both stars. And also, hello, Sam. How you doing, my lovely dinosaur boy? How is everyone? How is all the things? I'm sorry, I didn't mean to scare you. I feel like I came in with a lot of energy. Which is funny, because like today's session, I think we're going to have... It's... It's it's going to be... Not as, it's, it's not like 100% chill, but it'll be a lot chiller than last session. So last session was very much... A lot of, a lot of shit going on. Uh, which I'll do a quick recap of in a hot second. I'm just going to go through a few uh, news things. Um, first bit of news is uh, this is going to be the last of our fundraising streams for NARL and the um, the activism for, for reproductive rights. So if you would like to donate, you can uh, using the charity command. Um, there you are. And if you are uh, wanting to support or learn about the situation, uh, NARL do have uh, some stuff on their page for learning and if you are actively fighting please be safe and take care of yourselves um if you're donating i will be reading out the alerts or the um the thank yous during the break and the mid section because um we're playing dnd &D today so like we're not gonna uh i'm not gonna read them out during the the actual session but during the um just during the intermission moments i need to open up a thing because there's someone i needed to thank because i redeemed during the uh during our offline period if i remember what they're called not what they're called what like the page was where is there you are um yeah also um what we're doing is huh i should have my oh that's why i didn't have my link All right. um that's another uh point that i wanted to mention um all week i've been basically every sub and cheer that's been given i've been adding to a community group fund uh, fundraising uh i'll be ma i'm matching those uh, donations through my own um or not i say my own through um through you guys through the community so we've raised a 14 pound five pence from that but like through uh donations through the links we've been able to raise a 185 pound which is hella neat so give yourself a pat on the back for that you're all stars um who was the thing if i can continue with twitch sorry i just gotta load the thing uh, where are we yeah um yeah thank you mobius fun strip for uh the 25 dollars uh last stream um but yeah thank you guys again uh, everyone that's donated i know lucy and frankie you both donated um, and if anyone else that donates, uh, thank you ahead of time, but I'll also thank you, um, when, when we get to the intermissions. Um, so that's that. Uh, next is, um, like normal, we have channel point redemptions from, for the session. Uh, because there are no layer actions planned, uh, there's only just the, um, inspiration and rejuvenating spirit and healing spirit, um, uh, channel point redemption and there's also now ask the party which is where you can ask the party a question uh, to get them into character and find out a bit more about lonely cut and love by boy um during the break sections that's everyone's back softly raising eyebrows during why are you raising your eyebrows is that that thing where like, you have to rub your no isn't that's rubbing your stomach and patting your head sorry i'm thinking of something else uh don't mind me that's that i think but yeah that's all the things uh, that i have to announce um oh no there isn't next session of tas is going to be a few weeks after uh, today normally we do every two weeks uh we've moved it ahead one week because uh, next week i am going to be having a little vibe check with uh, cinderblock sally uh, i'm going to be doing some homebrew in monsters um as we're taking it off week from tas and then the week after that 17th of july uh, we're going to have a special new mini campaign, uh, Jailhouse Rocky. You'll be seeing the promo poster for that 
um, going out sometime next week. You may have seen all the character art for that uh, campaign um, over the past few months. Or over the past month, I think. I think it was all released uh, during June. And we have a stunning cast, including our wonderful Sam here. Um, and Jacob, who plays Rocky. Uh, and that'll be happening as um, during the in-betweens of Throne Top Sands. So it's going to be Jailhouse Rocky, Throne Top Sands, Jailhouse Rocky, Throne Top Sands, Jailhouse Rocky, Throne Top Sands. Um, yeah, that's all the things I get hype. Yeah, get, get hype. It's going to be so fucking exciting. Um, I've been just so much work has gone into this from both the cast and just everyone behind the scenes. Uh, my my team is a bunch of stars. And we've uh, we've been putting a lot of work into this to make this a really cool little storyline. It's going to be grand. So yeah, I'll see you guys. Oh, one last thing: if you do fan art uh, and you want to do fan art for some of the characters from Throne Top Sands, or you want to join the Throne Top Sands poster challenge, uh, you can. And if you send it to me, uh, you'll get it added to the reel on um, at the beginning of the session, such as what you're seeing here. Um, if you want to learn more about the Throne Top Sands poster challenge, you can check out the Discord. All my Instagram and uh, all my Twitters, and there's some cool uh, D and D prizes for uh, those that enter the poster challenge. If you want to enter the poster challenge, but yeah, we'll see you guys in a second. Bye. Oh, recap. I'm so stupid. <laughs> Let's do that then. All right, say. So <clears throat> Last time, uh, Lone Nico and Lofi Boy would confront the sisters uh, Kira and Katsumi around about the situation they are in or they were in. Um, that being with um, Kiko being kidnapped and why are they helping Kiko and what do Kira and Katsumi mean by other, another one? Um, yeah, although they continue to be more vague, uh, they would find that Lone Eco's compassion and Tenei's call to action would have both, uh, both duos become one party and that would be very hype for reasons. Uh, but yeah, together they were able to scout uh, so out some of the ruins and find the safest path, path where they uh, climbed over the roofs of the ancient Bakoran uh, city within the cave and um, scaling through these uh, through the buildings they were able to see down into a Bakoran factory or an ancient Bakoran factory where there's a giant conveyor or a long stretch of conveyor belt that had a bunch of forgotten forged bits shiseki stones and just vines and plants growing out of them and they could see the, uh, the basket hag who they were hunting down just swatting away hordes well a horde of uh, of um, wild uh, warforged um, constructions and with a climactic battle they were able to rescue Kiko uh, the younger sister of Katsumi and Kira but the hag was able to escape um, but they had they were able to have a bit of respite at the end of the session where um, they were just able to calm down but not for long because uh, on the horizon they could see three giant robotic mechanical beings making their way across the ocean um and they also heard someone climbing up the uh up the side of the cove and also on a, another note of that uh, pymera had departed from the pie which was uh, a moment as well um which is worth noting that like we've had to like like beth has had to step out of uh step down uh from playing pymera uh life has gotten just a bit too chaotic on her part um but she's a star and uh i know you guys loved her character she was she was she was a tree and hopefully we'll be able to have her back again soon but yeah we'll be back in about five ish ten minutes uh or i say five ish minutes maybe uh, five ish minutes um and then we'll start the session see you guys then.
Bonsoir. <coughs> Hello, everyone. Hello. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> that was a terrible timing. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Don't worry about it. Um, hi, everyone. Uh, I forgot what I was going to say. <laughs> um, yeah, welcome to session 17 of Throwing Top Sands. Um, Yay. with us, we have the wonderful Georgia. Hi. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I, uh, hello, um, <laughs> I play Lomiko and I am multi-classing. I am a level three bard and a level one fire shaman. Shh, it's a secret. Which is a homebrew. Shh, shh, shh. it's a homebrew class. Shh. Don't, 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 don't tell anyone. Okay, guys, keep it secret. Yeah. Shh. And we have our enigmatic Sam. <laughs> Hi, I'm Sam, also known as Lo-Fi Boy, or the other way around, but, um, yeah, oh yeah, I'm a cool Forge person, um, I, I just, I find Forge people cool, um, and, um, I'm really fumbling really hard today. You are. Um, but the thing that I wanted to say, oh yeah, like I'm a wild magic barbarian, um, and we've got some like cool, also homebrew wild mm. magic effects. And although I'm like very eager to throw down and yeah. like roll on that magic like table, I'm really hyped for. Uh, I feel like is going to be a chiller session today mm -hmm. so yeah uh i'm gonna change the music to the music that we are gonna have for the session that's the thing i was gonna say that Sweet. didn't sound weird at all <laughs> bang and then bang <clears throat> so yeah oh. um... <laughs> <laughs> sorry so go your face is still surprised. I don't know if it's your current emotion. It's I <laughs> it's all well yeah. I'm all okay. Let's move us over to the other map. Um so yeah, we ended last session with those strange things on the um emotions. <laughs> yeah, there was <laughs> many emotions. <laughs> we the the um as the sun or as the moon was rising you saw um those giant mecha creatures um uh, yeah. To know it. yeah it does that thing where like it locks out your your character uh, but like it's fine <laughs> there we are what's this stupid that's only what it does um yeah you guys saw on the horizon these giant silhouettes making their way very slowly across the ocean but still menacing enough to cause alarm um you notice also in Kira, Katsumi, and Kiko as well, they're also just as stunned as you are. I feel like their emotions aren't going to display that, though, when I pull them up on screen. Yeah, they, they're looking happy. Um, <laughs> <laughs> so having a great time. They are. We're going to quickly change that. So, yeah, they're, they're just as in shock and surprise as you are. Um, but, like, as that's as, as happening, you're seeing the the mask or the face of this uh, statue of Xion. Um, the four cracks that were there split into splitting into four. Uh, I did not make her a shocked face. Um, yeah, you see, you saw like the the cracks in the statue go from four to three. Um. On the surface of Kenga, well, in the direction where Kenga lies on the map of Australia, as you know, like you realized, the face is all the cracks mimic the uh, the geography of Australia. You noticed Kengala's crack became smaller and smaller, and then suddenly disappeared uh, to become three different bo uh, body masses on this uh, face. And like as that's happening, um, you could hear the sound of someone climbing up the rocky surface um just against all the crashing waves you can hear the odd little grunting of someone making their way up the surface 
making their way towards you. Uh, let me pull up my notes for other things. Yeah, as you watch this person climb, you see you see their strange silhouette. Uh, mimics that of a Suiko yokai, the, the fish yokai that you saw in the, the cave. Um, in ornate silks swaying in the wind, um, their staff jingles as um, as the rings on their uh, kakara, which is the staff, uh, collide with one another amongst a few bell chimes that you notice on this person's uh, dress. As they get closer, you see the silver is revealed to be a Bakuran woman, uh, making her way very elegantly towards you guys, almost like a ethereal princess is the way i would describe it as her giant koi fish headdress sways with the wind and moves with her very elegantly and like the silks that she wears just waft almost in slow motion in the amongst all the sea salt spray um and you see her her, her hair turquoise um her turquoise hair like looks like flowing water that curls and waves elegantly as she makes her way towards you her woolen fur a warm brown um, her features soft, warm, motherly, and beautiful, with the eyes of dawn as she gets closer. You can see just gold and yellows and oranges in her soft eyes. Um, look at you, Lonika. If I pull up the character art so I can see them. As you see her make her way towards you. Um, you can see... She's wearing a sleeveless shrine maiden dress with bands of fish scales on the edges of the fabric and on the seams. Um, and on the on her um, on her green skirt, you can see it's covered in white uh, and orange flowers. And as she continues making her way towards you, uh, looking at you uh, with intent, Lonico, you can see that she's she's close to your height, very close to your height, almost as if like the headdress. Like, if, like, you both were, like, standing side by side, you'd be a head taller than her, and the headdress makes her a lot, makes her look a lot taller than she actually is, as she makes her way towards you. Um, and you can just see, like, as, like, it's swaying, the her tail uh, sways back and forth as well, and you can see that the headdress of the koi fish is uh, tied to that. Thank you, uh, Jacob, for the... Uh, the prime sub oh no prime sub the resub you're a star you're a bean and then you're adding a pound to to that yeah you see her make her way towards you um and she just gives you a very warm smile and then as like the wind blows past her and of course the hair to waft in your direction you get the smell of oranges and lavenders um waft towards you guys amongst all the salt um and then when she stops and looks at you love she goes to look at the statue she in looking back at you again and then smiles warmly when when you see her smile uh, this time there's a strange calm that she gifts you in that like relaxes your mood and drops you to a more calm state or you've what feels like more a more calm and zen state as you feel amongst all the ominous going on through the shadows in the distance, you feel hope. Um, she looks at Lo-Fi Boy, uh, the Kamainu, and the three sisters, and gives them all a bow, jingling as she does so, um, almost musically. Um, and her voice is um, it's like that of her appearance, uh, but there's a whistle in her accent. To you, Loniko, she sounds like home. Hello, little seer. The vision said you were a star, but I don't think I've seen eyes shine this bright before. Oh, um, hello. <laughs> She's just going to do like a little bow um, back. Mm. Um, Cause she was playing her flute before. So her sure. mask is like half off her face. Mm. So she, Probably would have tried to put it back on seeing someone else approach. Mm. Probably not had enough time. <laughs> like, because she's just she's so pretty. Yeah. <laughs> that was that was wonderful music. I could hear. I oh, uh, sorry. Thank you. 
She just gives you a nod and a, a very warm smile again. I am Lee Hero, Hero you, me. Um, and I take it you're you're the girl in the Kitsune mask I'm looking for. Are you 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 you're 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 seeking to train to be a shaman, correct? Yes, yes, I am. Um, I'm Lonico. Perfect. She smiles, um, um, showing just a few teeth when she does that. She is beaming. As she looks at you. Wonderful. And what about your friends? She looks at uh, Lo-Fi Boy. Oh, uh, this is uh, Lo-Fi Boy, and um, this is uh, uh, Kira and Kiko and Katsumi. Uh, we just met up on the way, but I've been traveling with Lo-Fi Boy for a while, and they're my friends. You see Kira, Katsumi, and Kiko are kind of like, just like, they're a bit flustered, but they're smiling to themselves and just smile back. They, uh, they don't, they, and like when like they smile, they take a step back, seeing Lo-Fi Boy step back. Realizing this isn't, uh, they're, they're, they're approaching on your space. <laughs> Until they step back. So I'm going to just move her over here. And I'm going to move them back here. Yeah, well, Fight Boy would just have nodded um, during the whole interaction. Mm. And um, yeah, there's uh, also, for some reason, a huge sense of relief from the calmness of this person. Mm. And yeah, he he, he's like wiping off tears. Hmm. She goes to look back at you, uh, Lonika, and you feel like the gold, the giant gold fish eyes on her headdress look at you as well when uh, when she speaks <laughs> to you. Um. See, so yeah, I'm 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 glad you were able to make it. I I wasn't sure if if we'd we'd be able to converge on the same paths, or at least today, at least. Um. A calendar's actually match perfectly. You're, you're about to go into your next step. Um, like Prince Nami, passing on knowledge on the last Shansura, I will, I'll do my best to guide you into becoming a shaman. Really? Oh, I, the, thank you. Um, that, that's amazing. Mm -hmm. She smiles, and then takes a step towards you. And then with her Kakura, which is the staff she has, uh, you can see uh, on the top of it is a four-pointed star. She um, she touches your forehead, um, or where your for uh, where the um, red uh, drop on your mask is. Um, we'll be opening your third eye and uh, guiding you to your mind temple in this when. Uh, and enhance that spirit side of yours, if you are ready to go. Yes, yes, I, I yes. Perfect. She's just like nodding. <laughs> Perfect. But then she gives you a look over, and then she looks over the rest of the group. Hmm. Well, first I think maybe 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 dinner. I think you you all look exhausted. Would, would you would you all like to have something to eat? Kira, Kiko, without like skipping a beat, she just starts nodding, and Kira then also starts nodding. Katsumi <laughs> waits a moment, but then she just uh, she just mutters, "Yes, please." And what about you, uh, Loniko? Would you? Oh shit! I don't know if she actually knew your name. Did she? Yeah, you said your name. I didn't told you? her. Yeah, yeah, I told her. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> would, you, would you like something to eat as well, Loniko? Oh yes, uh, dinner would probably be a good idea. Uh, I I can help though. That'd be perfect, actually. I, I if uh, everyone would like to help, children, any of you good at fishing? She looks at Kiko and Katsumi and Kira. Um, they all look very flustered again. Um, but then Katsumi puts her hand up. Uh, I, I can, I can fish. And then um, you see her pull out a pouch from uh, the inside of uh, her skirt, um, the top of her skirt. And she, it's a little, a little cute little uh, pouch with uh, be. Uh, those string bead things 
uh, to open um, fastenings, and she opens it up and pulls out a fishing rod, and then just passes it to Katsumi. Wait, what? Hmm. <laughs> you had a fishing rod all this time. Yeah, I, I mean that's it's how I normally catch my dinner. No, no, but last time we. Oh, well... you're you're confused. Katsumi isn't the one with the fishing rod. Wait, who's the one with the fishing rod? It's Keiko. No, 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 the princess. She pulls out a pouch, oh, okay, and she okay. pulls out oh, the whole fishing rod. Never mind. Okay, okay, okay. I was like, bro, like <laughs> I can't believe you lied to me. <laughs> <laughs> you made you look stupid. <laughs> oh, that's good. That's good. Sorry. Um, <laughs> <laughs> you fucking ding dong. <laughs> she does look at you. Um, would you like uh, a fishing rod as well, uh, Love Fight Boy? Yeah, yeah, I've been uh, really wanting one for a very long time. Um, this is like, uh, well, not a very long time, but as like the amount of time that it's been, uh, yeah. As like <laughs> you just, just keep fumbling. <laughs> yeah, as you keep fumbling and just speaking, she like she just smiles at you, and she just pulls out a rod before you even get a finish. Um, before you finish your sentence, I just like hands it to you. Um, oh, oh wow, it's so cool! Oh my god, it's a real fishing rod. I think I've never held one before, and, and like I just look at it and touch at the different parts, and like, oh, this is the line, and this is You're the, making the it weird. <laughs> when when you're assessing it, your combine is just like hovering over you and it's just like panting beside you as it's looking at it. Um but as like he's continues panting and no no actually yeah, he's just like yeah, he's just excited as like you're there holding this fishing rod and then looks at the ocean uh, as you as you're just like playing with the fishing rod, I guess. I don't know how to explain <laughs> what you're doing. Um uh Seeing the excitement, I'll just go, like, I'll go on top of him. Let's go fishing. He gets lower to allow you to get on, uh, get on top of him. And the three sisters join, uh, follow you as the commander just walks you towards the edge of the, the cove. I felt like, yeah, like you were going in the same direction I was going to go in, but I forgot the map <laughs> ends there. <laughs> Katsumi leads as uh, she's there, like just like um, just like swishing the the uh, the fishing rod in the air. Kiko looks is watching the the lion also with like just amaze, and it, but like she doesn't want like every time you look at her like looking at the one she turns away from you, as if she doesn't want you to see that like it's she thinks it's cool. But we're gonna we're gonna I leave. Wink. <laughs> I can. <laughs> I think you can wink. You got like, a little shutter, don't you? I yeah, know. yeah, I probably do. Where are we? Yeah, so it we're... just look like blinking. He's <laughs> oh, he's like going to one eye. eye. Yeah. <laughs> one of the flowers covers and like makes a shutter, I guess, on the other eye. Um, but we're gonna focus on you, Lonika. Um, we are gonna do the things where I pull up the thing. Yeah, as she's, as like she's, um, as like they're walking away, you see, um, Hiro Yu, um, walk over to you and then she pulls out her pouch. Oh, she's still holding a pouch and she just starts pulling out a, uh, tatami, uh, mat, which is those like, uh, reed mats and just slides one on the floor and then just elegantly uh, drops two on her knees and just starts, uh, without stopping. She's like pulling out bowls, um, spices and a, a giant pot um and you just see like she just like pulls out a few like uh, bundles of sticks and just starts a little fire in uh just beside the statue if i want to do this that's big <laughs> <laughs> the big fire you just start it over here um and you, you, you said you had helped? Yes. Perfect. All right. While they're catching fish, would you uh, would you mind uh, chopping up some vegetables? Oh, yes, of course. <laughs> Perfect. Okay. She hands you a, a few potatoes out of her pouch, a few carrots and some onions. Um, you then see her pull out some orange peel and some lavender sprigs. 
and just toss it into the fire um, amongst some of the spices and oils she's uh, she just like puts on her hand and just tossing them all in the fire at once or all, all in succession of each other and as like they uh, that scent begins to fill the air and just waft around you guys it doesn't smell just like fire anymore it's a lot more easy on the nose and the senses um And like as she goes uh, to grab, uh, with that big pot, she just goes over to the pond and just scoops all some water out of it um, and just places it on top of the fire. She just turns to you. Um, Lavender and Orange go very well together. Um, some actually say uh, Kira and she and drank tea made of of Lavender and Orange when uh, before they became, before uh, she and became the Shioka and became uh, four. But some also say it's a great boost on one's health and helps one's breathe, boosts their immune systems, and uh, gives good sleep. Who's to say what the, what the what these all mean and what these do? Yeah. Uh, could you roll for me a survival or slide of hand to st um, as she gives you a knife and a chopping board as well because she forgot to give you. Um. I do the thing. 17, perfect. You are very good at cutting these onions, potatoes, and carrots and garlic. I forgot the garlic, but there was garlic. <laughs> <laughs> you do never you, forget the garlic. Yeah. You do a grand job with uh with cutting that all up. And she's just like she just gives you a warm, uh, motherly smile. Wonderful. Those perfect. Um just toss those in the water, please. And uh, if you could just keep stirring it for me. Um, as she just starts pulling out more uh, spices, herbs, and blocks of uh, curry blocks um, to pour in the uh, the pot of water. Um, and then while you're stirring the, the pot, um, she goes and pulls out a smaller uh, teapot and puts it on the side of the... Um, she goes fill that with more water, sorry, and then she uh, puts it beside the uh, the big pot, and then throws in a few dried jasmine uh, flowers into the and a few uh, tea bags. And as like that's boiling away, um, we're gonna move over to the fishing group for a second. Which I've done. Oh my fucking god! <laughs> <laughs> They're fishing. They are. That's that's one way to put it. I bet you think you're so fucking. So <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, we're actually gonna. Um, just for you, Sam. I actually created a special uh, fishing mini game. Oh my god. <laughs> Um, let me give you a second. We're gonna have because Katsumi's uh gonna start fishing. She's got a very excited expression on her, and she she she's uh she's looking forward to to fishing. She turns to you and asks, "Have you fished before?" Uh, uh, no, no, I I never got the chance. The closest thing to fishing is um I I, I threw. Sticks. <laughs> <Once>. <laughs> the end of that sentence. That's, that's it. I threw six ones. I threw sticks. <laughs> oh. I mean, I guess you could. But like, there, there might be fishes further away than right in the in the denser or more active part of the waves. I think. I don't know. The yeah, the water does crash, um, but like Katsumi just then just turns. Well, yeah, but like what you want to do is you just want to get the line as far as you can and then just hope. Mm. Is how I fish anyway. You wanna make a game of it? You Uh? -huh. You wanna you wanna uh, see how, you... how would you do that? We'll see who catches more fish. Okay. Fine. Cool. She She then turns to her sisters and 
you don't see the expression she she makes but the other sister's kind of like kiko she gives it like a little like uh cheeky little smile and then like a giggle and kira just like looks at you and then goes back to looking at katsumi and then the waters um but i'm gonna do a thing i'm gonna make a quick prediction because we're gonna see uh chat you can also partake in seeing who's gonna catch the most fish <laughs> start prediction Ten fly ATY and Katsumi. I'll have that going for about twenty minutes because I think it might be about about that ish. So we're gonna go for it'll basically be three rounds of uh, you fishing to see how many fish you can catch in those in that uh, in that amount of time. Okay. So I'm gonna need a journal. Is what I'm gonna need. Um. Sorry, I didn't mean to make that noise. But you guys heard that? I hope you didn't. There we are. Sorry, I just gotta <laughs> write this uh, right a quick little like table. Lo fi. Oh, the prediction. And then Katsui. It's a cat. Alright, there we are. <laughs> okay. All of these people, no hope for Lo Fi boy. <laughs> Kira is not fishing, it's uh Katsumi, the older the oldest I mean the That's okay. I, the middle sister. I, I, I will I will Hello. try to be stronger than fate. Let's I'm gonna get Katsumi <laughs> she out for this one as well. PC, Katsumi, 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 she's an NPC. Sisters K, Katsumi. So yeah. Alright, so we're gonna go for that. We're gonna it's not gonna be initiative, we're just gonna go low fi boy, Katsumi, low fi boy, Katsumi. So first things okay. first is I want you to roll for me a survival check. And she's gonna roll. I mean, I'm alive. All right, you think, you think you're so freaking sick? <laughs> I will survive. Uh, Twenty-one. Oh, oh, oh. Okay. Uh. So yeah, with your fifteen survival, you thrust your um your. I, I don't know if it's called tackle. Yeah, you you thrust the the, the line and the tackle out to a fairly uh, far off spot on the um, out to sea uh, amongst all the crashing waves on uh, this little hidden cove. Um, and like you, like a few moments pass. Katsumi is, you notice Katsumi's line is kind of like tied on a bit of a like a pebble just behind her, and she's trying to like thrust it, but then she doesn't realize, and so she's got like while she's untying that, you're just feeling the. The way he's got over the line, and um, and then you feel a bit of give as something nibbles. Roll for me a d10. Okay. okay. The Katsumi he doesn't need to roll anything. You got nine. See. So, yeah. Nine, 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 nine. Perfect. All right. Let's do the thing that I have to roll. Come home, little fishy. <laughs> or big fishy. Mm. As like you like feel that little snag, um, you just begin instinctively pulling in, and as you're pulling in, um, you can see your line as like you pull it out of the water. You see it's got like a box, some small kind of crate on uh on the box, and. Huh? As you pull it towards you, <laughs> reeling it in, you notice the box is has some creatures inside of it. Uh, some round creatures with giant claws nipping at each other. You pull in a box of seven crabs just nipping at each other. Okay. <laughs> so you <laughs> seven crabs. <laughs> right. Whoa! I didn't know they lived in boxes. That's unusual. <laughs> <laughs> they, they don't live in boxes. Katsumi just says a bit flustered as she finally pulls the reed away um, from uh, from the rock behind her. That's, oh, but, uh, fish, fishermen toss what? those those crab boxes out. Oh! <laughs> I, I can't, I, are we allowed to to take it? Is that stealing from the fishermen? She just shrugs her shoulders. If you want to win. 
I, I kind of like glare back. Frowns. I'm like, all right. She just frowns at you when she when she when she says it's that. On. Katsumi kind of like chuckles a bit when uh, she sees. Uh, I mean, Kira um, kind of like smiles a bit and smirks at Katsumi's soured, sudden souring of expression. Can I get another survival check from you? Yeah. And then a D10. Oh, no. You both this time succeed in uh, throwing up, uh, not throwing up, <laughs> throwing your, your lines out. <laughs> you, <laughs> you both succeed in throwing your lines out to the, uh, out in the, um, out in the open waters. And this time Katsumi looks a lot more, a lot better, a lot more excited. And like she is in, she isn't in the water as long as you. Um, like it's almost as if like as soon as it hits the water, she pulls, she reels back in. Oh wow! And as she reels back in, you see her pull out of the water. Hmm. A cage as well. Give me a second. That's like my PC is chugging. What is the D four? There we are. What did she get? She got... Is that a two? Yeah. As she, um... You see Kiko... Not Kiko, sorry. Kira, um... As she's pulling, you see that's got um, a cage itself. But this one's a bit longer and a bit bigger. As you can see, within the cage are similar creatures as the crabs, but longer. Lobsters. You see, um... But these lobsters are unlike normal lobsters. These lobsters, their claws are a lot bigger, and they have like a little stinger on their tail. Um, and you see that the shells are painted red with black, gold, and white splotches and streaks. She has caught two manticore crabs. I mean, lobsters, sorry. And what did you I get? I thought they were scorpions for a second. <laughs> I was like, what? <laughs> I mean, they're kind of, like, lobsters kind of look like scorpions. Just give me a second. Uh, you got a 10 and then a 1, didn't you? Uh, I got a 10 and a 5. 5, my mistake. My mistake, 10 and a 5. Roll for me a D100, please. Oh, shit. Sure. Actually, don't roll me. Roll, roll with D100. Uh, I have to roll. Well, too late. It's too late. We'll, go. We'll, we'll go with it. <laughs> you... Yeah, roll for me now. Roll for me a strength save. Oh, as dang. you wait a bit a bit longer, <laughs> but as you're waiting, you you feel there's a, a tug, a lot heftier than the crab box, and you're pulling, and then as like you're like you're trying to pull, bro, we... fucking hell, twenty six. I know, you, right? There is no trouble as you just pull yank out of the air, a giant. Uh, codfish um but this isn't this isn't no normal codfish this is a greater cod and it's huge it's almost as big as like your umbrella in size like you just pull it in and just flapping in the air as it's trying to like just get free and i'm gonna write that down you now have a greater cod now one last survival check for me Are we no. supposed to eat it? <laughs> it's, this is just a giant fish. You, you, okay, you've, you've, okay. Caught, you've caught a giant fish and you put it beside your crabs. Yo! Like it splashes how around. How big is it? Like, it's huge, just uh, as big as your umbrella. Whoa. Which is very big for a piece of card. And what kind of color is it? It is a, like... It's a creamy, like, white with, like, um, like black stripes across its um, scales. Awesome. And then where are we? And with your 50, uh, with her 15 and your 19, let's see what we get. 
This time, Kira, I mean, Kiko, her expression is a lot more focused. And she's... The Fran turned to a smile. And Kira even looks excited now in, uh, in this moment as, like, you both are... As you both just, like, thrust your lines out further to see. And this is the further you both have gone. Um, but you go quite a distance. With your 19, could you roll for me a d10 one last time? This is so exciting, by the way. I'm glad. I was worried, like, this is going to be too much dice rolling. Oh, no, it's so cool. I love it. I'm glad. Six. All right, let's see what you got with your six. Roll for me a strength check. Again. <laughs> Again. Okay. As Katsumi, okay. she reels out and she pulls in as well. Um, just a bit before you do, she, f she pulls out of the water. She pulls out a similar looking fish as your greater card, but the it's a bit it's a lot smaller in size. This looks a to be about as card. big. <laughs> this looks to be about the size, <laughs> just um, just about as big as like your um, your forearm. Uh, oh, and wow. Its scales are black. Uh, as she's reeling in, um, you as you get as it gets closer, you can see like it's slipping as she's trying to get it in her grasps. But her Kiko and Kira all like clasp, clasp onto it before it like leaps out of their grasps. Um, they have caught a black card. I feel like I'm in Animal Crossing. <laughs> it's like, oh, you've caught the sea bass. Like, but it's really cool. It's really fun. Where are we? Let's do the... What's it called? You d that was your 24 on strength save. So yeah, that's good. Um, you pull out of the water a giant of a fish. Much lo much even larger than your greater, um, your greater cod. You pull out a Sheehan snapper. Uh, you notice it's kind of got a little blue glow to it. As like as soon as it comes out of water, you just see like you're reeling it in. You're do you're using all your strength to pull it in. Your Kawainu even comes to help you and like bites onto some of your uh, your fishing line and pulls in with you. And you can see just skipping over the water. And as it gets closer to you, it splashes onto the rocky surface just in front of all of you. Could you roll for me a deck save? <laughs> your Kawainu will also roll a death save, deck save for me. <laughs> yeah, just roll a deck save for me. A death save, sorry. <laughs> Fishes and dies. Like that was a good game, everyone. <laughs> <laughs> the fishing did it, man. <laughs> um, I was just gonna roll a dex on with the combine there. And by the way, snappers are my favorite fish of all of the fishes in the sea. Like, I'm glad. <laughs> glad. I'm glad you. <laughs> with how I love them, like, because mm. I've eaten a lot of them, but still, like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like, as you're pulling it in, Kiko and Kira and Katsumi, they're kind of out of the way, but as soon as it splashes onto, like, the, just the rocks in front of you, a burst of thunder splashes out from, um, from the snapper. You are luckily able to, um, you are luckily able to ju just like move out of the way uh, before it the 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 shockwave catches you. However, your Komainu going to almost instinctively to protect you. It catches some of the blast uh, from the snapper. Um, and as that happened, you do notice that that pouch of like um, blue on like the blue within the um, on the snapper scales becomes even more vibrant blue uh, as it splashes. Um, 
But yeah, uh, but after that splash, you begin to continue pulling it in. And once you pull it in, it it tries to fight you for a bit, but you're able to like stop it and wrangle it. And when you I when you just like take a glance at it, and, like it's it's relaxed essentially. You notice that it has a lump just over its uh, fin, uh, and that's where the electric blue uh, color is coming from. This one specific lump. But as soon as like it stopped fighting, that blue lump dims, and you don't see the color in it anymore, and it returns to the the uh, the pinky um, the pinky orange uh, scale shimmer that it has. Oh, I think this mapper probably saw the Shiseki Stone. You wanna roll inside that one? Yeah. Go ahead. Yeah. Or even nature. Uh, as let's go with Kiko, nature. The the girls come rushing towards you as like they also like they're 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 intrigued by this. As you go to touch the stone, you feel the beating. Um the beating stone from within. As like you just touch it just before it lost its uh, colour. Real and like you <clears throat> instinctively almost like from like all your research that you've done on Shiseki Stone, you knew immediately this was a Shiseki Stone and this this snapper must have uh, cast whatever magic it had and expelled it in that one moment trying to fight for its life. You, right. you now have or I'm gonna give you a choice. You can if you want to, I'll let you do one more catch one more fish if you would like. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. <laughs> Go ahead. Romy strength. After like um after like you all kinda like survival. uh survival. As like that's okay. like Oh shit. <laughs> Roll for me. A D10. Two D10s. Are you winning, son? <laughs> um, well, where are we? Uh, blah, blah, blah. Katsumi, yeah, she's like, she's... Although she was sour initially on, like, getting on... on on the initial fumble she does like she is her expression is a lot more excited and she's a lot more in just like having fun this isn't this doesn't matter about it being a game anymore to her she's just she's having a blast and the sisters all uh, seem to be enjoying spending this time fishing with you um and like uh, there's like uh, like at least two hours has passed as you guys have been fishing i'd like or at least like an hourish has passed in this in these moments um of you fishing where are we um Katsumi once again though she just is struggling to as she as she uh, throws out her line she isn't able to catch on to anything but you love boy boy you feel a very heavy pull once again on your on your line as you got a seven and a nine let's see what you got on the those two hmm you roll for me a strength uh, strength check and you will get help this is from the your... beast of the sea. Mm -hmm. I, I I don't want to lose this one. It's the one that the fishermen talk about at the bars. <laughs> Kamainu, uh... The one that got away. I don't want it to become <laughs> this one. <laughs> the Kamainu and the uh, and Kiko and Kira do actually see you struggling with this one, because and like there is a lot of heft behind this one, and they all rush to help you, and Katsumi realizing she's not getting anything. She drops, or well, she doesn't, yeah, she just drops her line, uh, slots it, props it in between some of the rocks, and then she just comes over and she starts helping you. So you have advantage on this one. All right, and it's just save, right? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay. You're pulling. You're... As like you're pulling in the tug of this thing that you're that is like dragging your line, you feel the line is about to snap and the strain on the reed is immense. But with everyone's help and everyone pulling with you, you are able to draw in. It takes a bit of time. The um and like you f you you see Kira, Kika, and Katsumi all begin to start swaying as they're pulling in using all their might um, alongside you. And eventually, you are able to pull out whatever, like what this, 
what um what I was pulling down the line and but it's not a fish it's a box a metallic box covered in barnacles about it's about like I'd say um It's about, um, I'd say about 10 feet cubed, just covered in barnacles. And like, as you pull it onto cubed? 10, no, not 10 feet, sorry, 10 centimeters cubed. <laughs> sorry, Morris. No, that's a big box. <laughs> oh, not, not 10 centimeters, sorry, 10, inch, 10 inches, sorry, 10 inches cubed. Okay, okay, okay. So 10 centimeters is tiny. <laughs> For this anyway, I imagine. Um, but you pull in the... You pull in the cube and uh, the box, and it looks to be some kind of like uh, container, some almost like a safe. Um, and you can see there's like amongst all the barnacles, you can see that the, there's paint on, on this scratched. Um, but if you want to roll a history check, you can try uh, try to see if you can recall what this is. Oh, history check, yeah. Mhm. Mm Three, two, roll. Oops, sorry, I forgot to take off the advantage. No worries. Give me a second. There we are. Oh shit, I just realized the Cove music isn't playing anymore. That stopped. That's oh, it amazing. just. It, if you said. Well, there was music playing though. Oh, no, no, not oh, that the music. Cove the music. Cove, yeah. Oh. Now, where are we? But yeah. Mm, was that seven? I mean, in that moment of concentration, I think we all. We stopped hearing the yeah. ocean with the mystery. Mm. <laughs> when, when you pull it in, there is. You. You don't recognize the uh, this insignia that's on the the front, or that the paint is screen scratch. All like you can like gather from it is just the words "font," "mine," and "co." Uh, let's give me a second. Uh, and like the logo on it is like a pickaxe and something else, but that's been scratched away from uh, being at the bottom of the ocean for so long. This is what you see. Just give me a second. And the the box itself has a, like a, a door. It looks like a, it looks like it was a safe, um, but just riddled with barnacles and just ruined by the water. You can hear when you plunk it onto the surface. It gives a heavy thud when it hits the ground. It um it actually chips a bit of. The ground out when when it hits it hits these it hits the rock. You can hear something inside jingling. Okay. The girls look very sad. Uh, the th the first reaction though would be like, oh my god, everyone, we did it. But what did we do though? <laughs> the, the three of them are breathless. <laughs> When uh, when you say that, as you see them like gasping for their ass, like they have been pooped out by this, like from all the fighting that from just from earlier, and fishing now, it's taking out a lot of energy out of everyone. Is there like a clear opening of the box? Like, can I just try to? There is a door. Open it. As okay. you try to open the door, um, there is no handle. You have to kind of like slit your fingers in like um in kind of like a crack in the in like where the door uh door is and as you're pulling it's very tough it it's almost like it's, it's got like some locking mechanism that doesn't want it to like release hmm. okay um like as if it's needing like a key perhaps? is there like a keyhole like of some sort 
No keyhole. Okay. Mm, I'm like lifting it up, like looking at like every, all the sides of it. Um, I am looking at. Um, could we say that like there was a little pool of uh, water where I could have left the the fishes in, like? Yeah, sure. Yeah, the the, the as... little little recess. Why'd you ask? Okay. What, 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 what are you gonna do? No, no, no just uh, cause like I wanna say I was looking at the fishes, uh, and like I I just I imagined it was cooler to imagine them <laughs> chilling in the little pool mm. than like just like jumping on the ground. <laughs> mm. As like um, as you're thinking, you get the smell of the um, of vegetable stew being made and some boiling rice and a mix of herbs and spices and again the odd smell of orange and lavender amidst all the sea salt uh, wafting in from the camp of the uh, Lonika and uh, here are you. Uh, but as um, as you're looking at the box and it's just trying to think what to do, you just hear Kiko excitedly say. We should smash it. <laughs> smash it. Uh, do you want to smash it with me? As like Kiko is like about to say yeah, you just see Katsumi just hold her shoulder. Leave it to me, I think. Uh, so I hand it over to Katsumi. No, 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 no. I mean, if you want, if you want, we can smash it in together. But like Kiko, I, oh. I don't think she. As, as you like, as she just like swivels her wrist and just like, almost like to show you, like she, she's kind of built for this. Mm. Right, the manacles. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay, um, I, I, I just go next to uh, mm -hmm. Katsumi, set the box yeah. down, I guess. Yeah. And if... like, on three? Yes, one. Uh, with advantage, roll a attack with uh, either strength or your weapon, depending on how you want to attack. Uh, open it. Yeah, it's just going to be my fist. Um, That'll be strength. Okay. So one, two, two three. three. <laughs> no odds. Oh. Your fist kind of dents and scratches into the metal as you just punch into it. Um, and as you pull your hand away, you you have a sudden feeling of like air leave you as like you like you be like in that moment of you pulling your hand away, Katsumi's fist is already in in the in the in the box, and um, you you realize if you left it there for like a, the briefest of a millisecond, you would have no hand left. <laughs> That's why I said it now because I was thinking, oh, what if I held it? And I was like, no, <laughs> I'm not gonna live that again. <laughs> and as she pulls her hand out, uh, she pulls the door away with it. Um, her prosthetics just um, gleam proudly as she like kind of flexes them. Uh, as she's like just as she pulls the door off the uh, the safe. And you look within to see. Give me a second. I gotta do a roll for a thing. As you see, six gold bars within the uh, within the um, the safe. A leather band book that looks to have been worn and just too water damaged. Everything in the like amongst all the, like the the gold bars, uh, this leather band journal, and what looks to be a a old rusted dagger um, that looks to be from a strange, strange place. It doesn't look like any dagger you've seen used by. Um, it doesn't look like a weapon that like is like normally seen on guards in trailer or leaves. Uh, the the shape, the this the styling, the craftings are all foreign, and. It's just riddled with rust, waterlogged damage, barnacles, kelp and seaweed, and just like little fishes have been living inside the safe. Um, as like you open it up, they all just swim out and like uh, leave. Um, 
you can see the gold bars have like engraved into them two on each uh, each of the bars and the um the leather journal has uh just like embossed into or um burned into the leather fontaine mining company with the logo of a pickaxe uh two pickaxes crosses over one another and then underneath the engraved trading log but flicking through the pages the ink has run the um the papers put turn to i wouldn't say dust but turn to mush in your fingers You said that, uh, Fontaine? Yeah, Fontaine. Fontaine Mining Company. That, that's so cool. Uh, and uh, you said it had the number two engraved on the gold yeah. bars, right? Yeah. Uh,. Does that mean like two, two hundred? Hmm. Roll for me an insight <laughs> if you if you know what that means. <laughs> yeah. Let's hope Lo-Fi Boys knows more than me. Ah, uh, oops, I forgot the. But anyways, it's a, it's a two. You have no yeah, clue. Yeah. You have no idea okay. what that two means. You see Kira's, uh, Katsumi's, and uh, Kiko's eyes kind of like glisten as they look down at this. They they look at each other and then they look at you. I think um, I think seeing as we we helped you open this, you wouldn't have um, you wouldn't you wouldn't have these uh, gold bars. I feel like we should we should have a fair split. Uh, we take four, you get one. Um, huh? Huh? How is that a fair split? There's six of them. Yeah, no, but like that's we're gonna take that one as well. I, I don't agree with that. You just uh, uh, helped open it. I, exactly. I didn't try to take your fish. If you, well, if anything, if, if anything, if we're eating if this we fish, then you will be fishing. taking the fish, won't you? I'm not eating. I can't eat. <laughs> Kira does. Tend, he, does, he, does he does kind of have a point on that one. He does kind of have a point. I, I was but fishing no. for all of you. Well, <laughs> and I we we opened this for all of you. So really, I think we should take five, and you should take one. You can have the dagger. You can have that for free, and the book. We don't want the book. Why would you take five of them? Well, I feel like it's only fair. That's not logical with me. Service charge. What I, that's not what we agreed on. You just agreed on opening it. There was nothing else. Exactly. See, we didn't agree on anything. This is why we we form form the these these agreements now. As you as your Kamainu does step forward, uh, to almost instinctively come to protect you and help you, it begins to start shrinking. And as oh, it starts no, to no. shrink, <laughs> you notice that you a lot of time has passed in since you started fishing and since you released him. He becomes, he returns back to his statuesque pose. Uh, that is, uh, let me pull up for chat. The statuesque pose that he was at. That is not doing the thing I wanted to do. But it's okay, you guys can see it. Yeah, um, he returns back to his little statuesque pose and becomes a wondrous Kamainu statue again for you. Yeah, and then... Katsumi and Kira's expression then goes a bit, uh, becomes a bit more sly, seeing the uh, the combine even the gets smaller. I take the box and run away, and I'm like, no, Nico. <laughs> <laughs> Roughly <Ruffin> strength. <laughs> I wouldn't be running away if like I didn't see that like the taking it doesn't work, but. I would still be calling Lomiko. Um, mm. Is that a save or just strength? Strength. Uh, anyways, okay. As you rush over to Lomiko, pick you try you pick it up, and you immediately kind of like almost regret, and you have to like hunch over to try and like run with it, and it's just like you're doing your darndest, but like it's you're struggling. You put but you pull you're dragging it across the stone as you're moving it uh, towards Lo, uh, Lomiko. And as you do that, your hair is just scratching into the stone. You see Kira, 
Katsumi and Kiko, they don't bother. They just like watch you run away. And you see Kiko just start to laugh. And then Katsumi and Kira just start picking up all the fish. <laughs> As you come running over, I'm going to go over to Loniko. In the time you guys were fishing, Loniko and uh, Hiro, you were cooking. I'm going to actually do the thing. I need write note down. Um, give me a second as I do the thing that I was looking for. Where are we? Yeah, as you're uh, cooking, you. She gives it. She's a very. She's very motherly. As you're just cutting away, and she she helps you every now and then, and she she stirs. Um, she'll help you stir the pot when you were stirring, and like as like the tea was boiling, uh, she offers uh, jasmine tea. Yes, please. Wonderful. Um, and then she pulls out some more cups. Um, you notice these cups are white porcelain with a red, uh, I mean orange and brown splotches on them. And as she pours you a cup, she pulls out a few more for the rest of the party. And then she, um, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go get their fish. Uh, you, you okay with helping me prepare them as well? Yes, I can do that. Perfect. You can just keep staring at it, not too fast. As uh, she makes her way over to uh, Lo-Fi Boy and the group uh, fishing. This is by the time you caught the first fish in the crab box. Or the crab box. Uh, you, she would have came over and asked if you wanted any tea. Uh, jasmine tea. To uh, commemorate this uh, bond we've, uh, we're have we making. Actually, yeah. For the salinity in the air right now. Uh, some good uh, humidity would be good for my flowers even if it's tea thank you what about you girls yes yeah, yeah, yes please uh they say and they all will take a glass or mug sorry as you guys sip the tea it's a lot sweeter than any jasmine tea you've had before you remember you had some time uh very early on when you first met each other uh that was a lot more not bitter but not as, like, this is, like, almost, not sickly, but just sweet enough where, like, it's not too much and overbearing uh, on the flowery flavor. Um, and as you guys are catching fish, uh, fish uh, you just see her, she, she'd come over every now and then and take some of your, like, take the fish away from you guys. Um, but she didn't take, obviously, the last batch that you guys caught, um... Because Katsumi and Kira uh, picked that up. And you, Lofi, were actually caught the most fish, which reminds me, and I'm not going to do that because I was just about to start I was just about to start a raid. Ooh. <laughs> Lofi boy caught the most fish, so let's do that. So yeah, um, as you... And as, like, after, after she gave the tea and everything... Has it started again? Or did it... Uh, Oh, it doesn't. Yeah. Um, she comes back to you, uh, Loniko, and um, she'd bring the crabs and she'd bring the uh, the fish over, and you'd see she begins washing them in the uh, in the pond uh, underneath the Sheen statue. Um, and she'd ask if you'd be uh, if you could help her wash these out as well. I will help. Uh -huh. Roll nature for me. And as this is all happening, I want to ask, would you guys have been distracted from the giant robots off on the horizon? Yes. Uh, yeah, definitely. Not yeah. only fishes mattered in this moment. Mm. <laughs> what about you, Lonika? Oh, yeah, like, <laughs> she's completely distracted and just focusing on this, this lady. Perfect. You roll for me perception. Uh, same with you, Lovewood. Just to see if, like, you're if like you see in the corner of your eyes. Fucking hell, that dice is aggressive. <laughs> you both would see just in the corner of your eyes. You're still like too focused on everything that's happening. 
it's like whatever was it like it's almost like it's just like it blends into the scenery for like that moment you see them in your peripheral vision but you do still see that they're in the background making their way closer very slowly it looks almost as if they haven't grown in size since you last saw them but like at least an hour or two has passed since you last noticed but like you you're still just too distracted you're having a lot of fun fishing and helping and with all this just experience that you're you're having right now it's it's a bit where are we so yeah when you do that um you got what did you got for your nature was it 20 yeah perfectly yeah. you are a master at deboning and descaling these fish and cleaning them and the crabs and what did you get we got snappers cod lobsters crabs and black cod um she asks how hungry do you uh do you th would you all think you'd be with a little playful mm. smile she asks well little fly boy doesn't technically eat but he has had uh lemon water before um mm. but i'd imagine the rest of us are very hungry hmm. okay that's all right then. we'll use most of this fish as uh she starts she puts in Four crabs, both the lobsters. She doesn't put in the she and uh, snapper, but she, you were you both uh, together prepared the greater cod and the black cod together. Um, and after you guys have like prepared that for cutting, and you start smoking both the cods, um. And after like this, uh, she pulls up uh, like some banana leaves and wraps those in the cards in uh, in the banana leaves and puts them back in, in the in the fire to smoke them. She um she starts salting the uh, the she and snapper and it's huge because uh, you both are tiny. Uh, this thing is huge <laughs> compared to both these. But she starts salting it and preparing it uh, for um, preservation. Um, this uh, maybe maybe you guys can take this back. Uh, and then you can cook it up when when you when you want some fresh fish, or maybe you could sell it at the market. Markets usually usually take some some extra some 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 fish on hand sometimes. Um, yeah, moments pass after like uh, after those the fish start smoking, and as the smoky fishy smell uh, fills the air, she then starts like cut like not cutting it up but breaking it up into pieces and putting that in the stew. Just to uh, impart some smoky flavors. Um, and <laughs> as she does that, you see Lo-Fi Boy come, come over with a <laughs> box scratching into the ground. <laughs> oh. As you see Kira and Katsumi behind. Um, just with the last batch of fish. They they actually overtake him as they come over, <laughs> just looking at him. <laughs> of course. <laughs> no, Nico. I feel like I'm being swindled. Help me. What's wrong, Lofi? Wait, what, what what is that? Uh, it's there's there's gold bars with the number two of them. I I don't know what it means, but Katsumi saying that she. She wants to take, like, 80% of all of it. We only think it's fair. You like fish we wouldn't up. be even fishing if it wasn't for the... Uh, what was your name again? Nima? Hero you. Hero you. Thank you again. And, and like, as I'm dragging the box, I mm. eventually want to come next to her and just give her the fishing rod back that was an amazing experience i am really grateful you can you can keep it if you want if you if you've been if you enjoyed fishing really oh yeah, yeah. oh wow thank you and i i give her one of the gold bars oh yeah i i i hope that that, that should be enough thank you um, as she turns to Kira and Katsumi, 
Thank you, thank you girls for this. As she puts uh, the gold bar in her little pouch. And Kira and you see Lonika in the um, Kira and Katsumi, they get flustered again. Yes, ma'am. They just mutter to each other. Well, not to each other, but like just out to the air. But then like they get, they pull themselves back together and then just like go to Lofa and like kind of corner him. <coughs> so yeah, now that you've done that, it's an even split. Split. You give us, you give us four and you get one. If that says two, you can half that. And you can have two for you and Lonika. Yeah, Kiko says. How many are there? There yeah. were six in total. There are five left. <laughs> Katsumi was about to speak, but Lofi would just immediately just, <laughs> <laughs> just stops her. Well, that means one each then, right? Well, I guess. I guess, but... I don't, we, well, we only you think... can have one gold bar each, or you can have no dinner. Or, or, I mean, I'm fine with no dinner. And I, I then, then, the yeah. <laughs> you, then you, 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 yeah, you give us your one then, Lofi boy. Uh huh? Yeah, get, you, you're not having dinner, you can give your, yours to us. No, you can have the Lofi fish. Lofi boy fished them up. Well, he, yeah. Yes, but he did, he forgot to mention we opened the box. Uh, yeah, yeah, Katsumi did it. Lofa boy couldn't do it, he's, he's weak. Kira? Talk. Yeah. Remember when we were back to back and I said yeah. that you owed me one? And then I almost died? She just that rolls was, her eyes. That was a few hours ago. Um, in case you forgot, this, this would be the moment where you could stop owing me one uh, by, by just chilling out. Uh, all of you, please. Give it to him. We'll take one. And I, and I give them one. She just gives you a nod. You can see her expression is not happy, though. <laughs> well... I, I just don't say anything. I keep dragging the box, like, <laughs> to the next to Lodico. <laughs> but like yeah after I hope, I hope the fish is good I like it your senses do smell that it, it smells, smells delicious um you can see Katsumi's expression is still a bit sour from the from the gold bar that she didn't get or the extra gold bar that she was she was fighting for but the other girls they're a bit they they relax and they they begin helping uh, with the food you see them stirring the pot and like every now and then they'll just help like um here you pass them some bowls to uh clean and so they're using the pot to start cleaning them and dinner will be ready in just a moment as the sun uh not the sun sorry it the, the sky starts to turn blue um and as that's happening she Pulls out another, uh, pulls out like a foldable table, and then just puts it in front of all of you. And then with those bowls, she scoops out some rice and some of the fish stew with uh, some finely chopped carrots, garlic, onion, and potatoes, and a wide variety of fish and crab meat. She gives you all a um, a bowl, and then she passes. Uh, she makes another bowl, and then puts it in front of the statue of Sheehan. Um, and as Kira and Katsumi are about to start eating, she doesn't even, t uh, Hiroyu doesn't turn around, but she just puts her finger up, 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 up. First we, first we bless, then first we pray. Oh, gosh. Sand alert. Terrifying. Thank you, Young, for the retweet. Um, yeah. First we pray, and first we bless. Yes, ma'am. Uh, Kira and Katsumi say. And they both stop. Um, and you see the, the shaman, she pulls out two incense sticks and lights both of them and then wafts them over the food for a moment, uh, over the, the one bowl she puts in front of the Sheehan statue and then props two rocks, um, over the incense sticks so that they're hovering over the pond 
and she puts her hand in and then just splashes it on top of both the incense sticks and then catches some of the smoke and just wafts it in the air catching another uh, handful and then makes her way towards the group and then circles everyone with some of the smoky in, uh, the incense as you can smell from one uh, handful oranges and from the other lavender and then she does it one last time uh, one twice around low Nico and then she sits down and then you hear her mu uh, mutter a uh, a prayer of thanksgiving um, and it the you realize it's about eight o'clock now and at dinner time um, eating the fish stew it is delicious it is buttery from the black card the uh, the black card had a very velvety taste rich and just I guess meaty from the uh, the crab and lobster and flaky from the white card you guys caught and um or from the greater card sorry and the just the curry stew is just full of the the fishy umami and the, um the savoriness from all the vegetables and it's a wonderful meal that fills you up and it gives you the feeling of home and a very cozy feeling as you just take in this moment as you guys have this little picnic uh in the moonlight uh with Sheehan. i'm gonna just change the music in a second as as you guys finish your meal or is there anything you want to say during your meal because uh it isn't rude to speak while eating. You guys are allowed to... If there was anything you wanted to say during that time, you can. Just as a player, like, that's amazing food description. Like, um... I'm glad, that's glad. really, really fun. <laughs> You're making me hungry. I'm really yeah! Sorry. I have a habit of doing that. Apparently my streams just have like a habit of making people hungry. <laughs> no, it's like, yeah. I think I might just ask her how she got here. <laughs> I swam. What? I swam. Like in the ocean? Yeah. Well, not the whole ocean. I... I just came from Amidaka. Um, well, like I, I teleported on, there's a, there's a near, there's a little, a little, a very tiny island. It's not on the maps, um, nearby that, like, I wanted to stop by for a bit. And then, um, and then I swam, uh, swam the rest of the way. Is Amidaka, oh, Amidaka, right. Amidaka, yes. Whoa. Were the currents? Oh, sorry. But, sorry. No, go ahead. Uh, may I ask what you were doing on that little island? Nothing in particular. Just... I, th I think it, it has a nice view of, uh, of the islands. And you, uh, you get a nice little, a little glance of the Reishibu from the and you can actually oh, see nice. a bit of the, uh, you can see a bit of Kasakawa from there too. And, like, even the, uh, the, the city from there as well, which is nice. Akira, Kiko are silent, and Katsumi are silent when they're eating. They, it's almost as if they've never had, like, a, like, home-cooked meal before. And they, like, almost are, like, teary-eyed as they're eating this. And the very smiley as I eat. Was that your only question, uh, Lonika? Oh, um, yes. Sorry, what was that? Sorry? Uh, uh, no, just not question, but like more technical thing. For yeah, sure. The, no, never mind. No, you sure? uh, it's okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, well, no, yeah. It was the the ocean's waters. Were they warmer near 
Aimitaka, or and as you sum up, like it, they become colder. Mm. Since it's more to the south, I, I was wondering. No, I wouldn't say so. I think. I'd say um. Depends on the time of the day. It's I mean it's autumn now, so it's getting a bit nippy. Mm. Just a bit nippy though. Which. But it's fine if we wear our jackets. He smiles. Uh, you said you teleported from Aimidaka to the island? Mm hmm So, does that mean there's like... Like, how did you do that? Uh, she, as she's eating, she, uh, with one hand, she pulls out her pouch again. And then she pulls out a purple shiseki stone. That's fairly small. It fits very, like, it looks like it, uh, it's a very comfortable grip in her hands. Teleport. And she puts it back in her, her pouch. Huh. Interesting. Yeah, te teleport should take Easton to very not a lot of people can find find them, but if you if you know a good dealer. You know a good dealer? I did. They're not in the business anymore. Well, okay, good. I assume so. I'd like to add dealing. Shiseki stone isn't illegal. It's like just like she means, just like a, a just a shop that sells sells shiseki stone. A supplier. Yeah. Uh, how would you? Uh, is there any like um, way to interact? I'm not. Is there any like code? To say like, hey, I'm looking for that kind of stone, or is it just like anyone can ask? Anyone. I mean, you can just go, if you go up to the counter and ask what's on the Shiseki Stone Registry, they should have a list of all the available stones. Have you not oh. ever bought Shiseki Stones before? Uh, I'd imagine that how many I could afford. Interacted with. They they were already like I wasn't really managing the inventory, but. Hmm. It's just, I'm, I'm not very, I, I know a lot about them, just not about how necessarily the other things about them that aren't them. I'm sorry, I mean, like, transactions and, okay. like, usage, th th those weren't my, my research. Oh, well, okay, shops are scary sometimes. I remember when my uh, my daughter when she she never went to or liked going to the shops on her own. She'd always want me to go with her. But she'd always want want this Shiseki stone and that Shiseki stone. Well, it's a good thing she's a wizard now. But I do miss I do miss those shopping sprees. If you miss it, we can always shop together. That would be wonderful. I'm actually, I'm actually here to shop actually, and just 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 see some of my gal pals again. Oh, nice! She looks very happy and excited. She says that. Uh, oh, that would be lovely. Is your daughter in Einstein? Hmm. She's she's off in uh, Nagahara today. But um. I'm stopping in Isoto for a bit and then heading up to Nagahara after. And then back to Aimidaka. I... I take it there's nothing else, huh? I'm sorry. No, no, go on, go on. Just... Are you really yawn? Because I'm not programmed to sleep, but just my... Constitution after today. Mm -hmm. That's okay. Um, that's okay. You you all look to be exhausted. I hope uh, hope you feel fulfilled with with all this. Um, would you? Oh, sorry, go on. I I have a question actually. Far away. Since you know about about Shiseki stones, uh, what do you know about like? Rawer versions of Shiseki stone. Are, are, are 
be dangerous, or are are they kind of like neutral, or? I, I wouldn't, I wouldn't, I wouldn't personally know. I've, we don't often come. Well, I don't imagine it's normal to come into raw Shiseki stones, unless you're in the business, of course. But um, all mine I just get from. From my from my from my my spell sh my spell stores. Um, I hope they're not dangerous. If they are, you should you should be careful. Please don't. Oh, oh, and there was a fish with one of the Shiseki stones. Um, oh, well. yes, yes. I, I'm so sorry. I completely forgot about that. Thank you. Uh, sh uh, you notice next to uh, the fish, like where all the fish were being prepared. Um, you can see there's one, like the giant Shein, uh snapper has been wrapped in banana leaf. Um, and you can see, like, that, like, when you came over, you saw that they were, uh, covering it in salt to preserve it. But, um, she did, uh, I'll cut it open. And she did pull out a, uh, a small blue Shiseki stone that she cleaned. Um. And, like, every now and then, it, like, it glows blue, but then it goes back to being, it goes, turns into a grey. And then, like, we, um becomes blue and then grey again. But then like as like it turns grey one last time it stops. Would, would, would if you want you can have this one. I I don't I don't need I don't need any that don't help me around the house. Oh sure. Uh what happens when I touch it? When you touch it, nothing. You just feel the faint Beating of something from within, like like a like the like a heart. Um. Oh no! Can I, can I like run over back into the caves? You can. And so I do. As you run back into the caves, you hear her shout. Wait! Stop! Uh, but are you listening, or are you going straight in? Uh, I'm just going to say, like, but it's going to die. No, you just need to charge it. You hear her echo. Uh, uh can I even come back then? <laughs> you can. Let's, let's take you back. <laughs> okay, okay, I don't want to die in the caves of the Holy <laughs> 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 What? What do you mean, charge it? Just, just charge it. Uh, okay. Um. I, 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 I look at it. Um. I. Like, I mean, sometimes you might have a, a fire Shiseki stone that needs just to be, just to be warmed up again. So you toss it in the fire. Maybe... Maybe there's a one of your your ice stones are uh, just needing to be a bit more chilly, so you leave them out in the cold for a bit. I see. Sometimes you just let them rest. That's how you charge them. Mhm. Mm Every one is different, just a bit. But there's always experts, many experts. How do you, how do you charge your teleportation one? I just let it rest for a bit. Okay, so kind of like, if teleportation is spatial things, so you kind of like let it restore spatial energy, if that Maybe. makes sense. Maybe. They don't give you the details when you buy these, they just tell you how. Hmm. Okay. Oh, okay. Um. Um, I, I'm just gonna try to, uh... Wait, do we have Sparky? I turn around to Lonico. You do not. Pymera has it. Uh, okay. I don't um, know if like, you. Yeah, like, like I know you can ask Lonico, but like I. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> no <laughs> like, worries. <laughs> I, I, I had to look at the inventory. Can Lonico still answer it though? Um, I I don't have it. I'm afraid. Oh, uh, okay. Um, I. 
charge. Oh, Give me so it's kind of like us. She's like, these sounds are like us. Hmm. Everyone needs a bit of uh, rest and relaxation sometimes. Okay. Well, since it was charged in the sea, um, I'm gonna, like, go to the pond and try to find a place where it's, like, not too... I know it's a very, very, very deep one, but if there's a small crease where it's kind of, like, not too shallow... Uh, actually, that is quite shallow. I, I would put it there. As you go to put your hand in these waters, um, you feel a unsurmountable amount of depth immediately. You it looks a lot shallower than, than it is, and you can't. F you feel like you, if you put your entire body in, you still wouldn't touch the bottom. But as you put your hand in, you feel uh, some koi fish within start swimming around your um, your arms, and that endless depths isn't so scary. You feel comfort from the fish swimming around your arms. But you don't feel the energy return in the Shiseki Storm. <clears throat> like, zero percent. Like, not even, like, charging mode. Mm -hmm. Like, it's... Okay, okay. Then I, I take the stone back. I, I'm still... My theory... Uh, I, I want to try to charge it inside of the cave because of reasons mm. that... Maybe the cave was very energetic. Hmm. Well, uh, she looks a bit concerned when you want to return to the cave again. Hmm. Maybe we should at least get some rest first. I agree. I think what lurks within those caves is angry and scared and wild. I don't think whatever you could gain you'll you'll lose just as much if not more i think and if it helps these these stones don't they don't take much dip, like to learn how to recharge them surely like i mean there's many shops in isotope that you could look at to to find out how to recharge this stone okay oh and, and the last question then um i, I there's and I, I pick out the the crystals that um kind of like were chipped off from some of the undead mm. um are, are those shiseki stones as soon as she goes to touch them she reels back her hand a worried expression fills her face and the what like looks like hope in her eyes kind of like diminishes for a brief moment These, these aren't, these, these are not Shiseki stones. What the, the, these are, these are evil. They're dark. When, when I touch them, I, I feel, I feel whatever soul was in these stones, echoes, fighting. But whatever, what, the soul that remains, the, the spirit that's there. It's just a shell. I don't... This... The, these these are not... This is not magic. We... We should surround ourselves with. Oh, okay. That, that's interesting. Um... Um... Um, yeah, let, wait, let me just see if I had one last uh, Shiseki stone. Um, and actually, I grab... I have holy water in my inventory. You do? Yes. And I pour them, the holy water, on those crystals. Mm -hmm. Nothing happens. Okay, I'm really scared. Um, mm. um, I just <laughs> throw them in the fire. <laughs> Go ahead. Um, was there anything you wanted to ask, Lonico? Uh, no. 
I think I'm okay. No worries. She... As, like, you guys, like, begin to continue eating in silence. When you did that, she said a crystal. Uh, when you ask about the crystals, I will say, love, boy. You see Kira. She side-eyes the, the crystals for a moment. But then she goes back to eating her food. Um, and as you guys finish up eating, um, it becomes, like, it looks like it's 8 o'clock. And... Uh, here are you. Stands up. And then, collecting everyone's bowls, um, she puts them. She puts them in a pot that like looks to have soapy water in it. It looks to be the same pot they used for the stew. Um, you guys had finished all the stew. There was. Um, she let it reduce to not have it. Can I help too much. her? She does. She does Do ask you all. Dishes? She does ask you all to help with the dishes. Yeah. Um. Okay. So I want to whisper to her, I don't know how we're being organized in the dishing washing thing, but I, if I can whisper to her, I just say like, could we talk in private later tonight? She gives you a warm, welcoming uh, smile and then nods. Um, but she dumps all the bowls in the, uh, in the soapy bowl and then just asks that you all help. Um, if you all wash wash your dishes, um, she looks at uh, Lofi Boy, and then uh, she looks at you, Lofi Boy, and then she looks at Kira, and then gives you both a warm smile. Um, and she just like has the like the part on the side of the. Um, she puts a so part on the side here. Um, she actually goes like she see her uh, a hand come out of it that looks like water forming out of uh, where her hand is turn into a bunch of fishes that look to form into like one big hand that pick up the fire and then move uh. it away over here as she puts the pot over here and then Kiko and Kira and Katsumi they all um they all begin to stop washing the pots over there and I assume you'd be over there as well if I go yeah, it's just I'm cleaning, yeah. But as low as you go to, um, as you are about to start washing the dishes, she stops you. Uh, putting her hand in front of you. Just give me a second. Her expression changes from happy and warm and motherly to a bit more serious. Um, and she looks as if she's uh, asking to uh, hold your hand. Uh, I will take it. <laughs> she guides you to the uh, statue. And I'm going to move all the fish. <laughs> <laughs> I'm actually leaving because like, a lot of it is just gone. Um, sorry, give me a second. Also, shout out to Two Minute Tabletop, um, who do um, whose assets are what we use for the maps. I'm just going to do this. 2MTT. If I write, um. If I pull the thing that I wanted to do. Um. She, as she guides you to the pond, she gets down to her knees again, just as elegantly as she did earlier. And she asks you to wash your hands with her. And she plunges her hands into the pool. Looking at you, ready for you to do the same. Yeah, I will do the same. Okay. The same sudden. Huh? There's no music. I was trying. To... I didn't realize there was no music playing <laughs> on our side. <laughs> if I pull up what I was looking for, just give me a second. As you put your hands into the water, you get that feeling that like Lofi Boy had, where um, you feel unsurmountable depths. 
this water goes on forever. It's you. You're very surprised. It kind of it takes you by some surprise. Almost as if like you're going to fall in when you put your hands in. Uh -huh. But as soon as you realize how deep it is, the the unknown doesn't scare you. You and you get this comforting feeling as the koi fish begin to swim around your hands. As you realize these koi fish aren't um, real, they're uh, spiritual, they're ethereal. They have a ghostly glow to them as they swim in the water around your hands. Um, and she will just, as she's washing her hands in the water, she will, uh, she will uh, just mutter under under her breath. But like it's to you, it sounds very clear, but you can tell she's whispering. This will be a trial by fire. You will have to consult, converge, and appease a spirit, or you will perish if you fail. Do you understand? Yes. Good. Don't be scared. Look fear straight in the eyes. And then you will be brave. Okay? She's gonna give a big nod. <laughs> she smiled at you. Come, stand. As she pulled out her hands. The incense sticks are still um still there and you as you get up you get their smell uh wafted into your nose and they give they give you um they uplift you uh, as well and you recall time time smells like this time smells like orange and lavenders as as you're both standing up she guides you in front of the statue if I, she walks you there, and then she just looks you, and uh, making sure, and like, you stare at the cracks of Xi'an in front of you as you stop hearing the sound of the waters anymore. They become very faint. That was very fast. That was meant to be a lot more seamless. <laughs> They're very faint, as you can only hear the crackling and the sizzling of the fire. Give me a second. There we are. As you, as you sign, as you, as you're looking at the uh, the face of she, and she, she pulls out a uh, uh, um her staff, uh, and you can see in the central hoop. She, she asks. She waves it in front of you. Look in this hoop, okay? Keep your eyes always on the center. And as it jingles uh, slowly in the breeze, uh, she places it just above where the moon is. Um, and as you look, you can see the starry sky um, surrounding the moon within this window uh, of her staff. And then she'll slowly bring it down. Bring it As she brings it down, it doesn't jingle. She doesn't make a single noise. Um, you can see uh, she frames Sheehan's face and then she shakes it, uh, creating another jingle uh, that's a lot louder than the other one, uh, the initial one that she's made. And it sound, it gives off uh, slow motion. Almost, it sounds like it's in slow motion almost. And in that moment, you hear a bell chime from within you. And then she begins to circle you low, um, asking you to still follow, uh, still using her staff to guide you. Uh, using as a window as you like are just like seeing the surroundings as she begins to start s uh, swirling around you and dancing she looks like a fish swimming and diving in the air as her si silks mimic uh, water that swirls there really around her as she begins to she begins to speed up but as she speeds up she stops once more in front of she and, and puts a hand out for you asking you to hold um Reaching out for you to hold her hand again. I take it. Roll performance. <laughs> mm-hmm. Um... 
as you take her, <laughs> as you take <laughs> as you take her hand, you instinctively it comes to you naturally. It comes to you like like you've been waiting for this moment your entire life. And she begins to start dancing with you, swirling. Um, she continues moving like water, like a fish dancing and diving through the air and swimming around you as you almost mimic fire as you join in with her. And fire and water normally clash, but together you create a harmony. That music, please. <laughs> you create a harmony that... Um, swirled into a beautiful entrancing state that Kiko even um, Kiko begins to start humming uh, and Lofi Wu when you look at her you see the the, the young elf uh, girl's expression is glazed um, Lo you recognize this song that she starts humming as you can hear it almost as if like it's right in your ear uh, this song is at the riverside uh, which is performed at funerals um and you have the urge to hum along with Kiko. And you begin to realize uh, Hiryu is also humming along with you as her bells and her kakara are chiming along and adding to the internal bell that chimes with the new low. As the music reaches its climax, you feel your body stop, uh, perfectly in line with Shion. She still has her staff framed over Sheehan's face in this moment and your eyes fixed on the center um, at the central crack and she raises it once more towards the moon but this time instead of having the starry sky around in the window you see just the white of the moon and you feel your body suddenly in, in as you can't see the void of the night sky you feel your body fall while your spirit begins to soar and we are going to take a break. <laughs> I'm crying. <laughs> I need a drink. <laughs> let's let's take a little break. This is so cool. I'm glad you're having fun. Chat, I hope you guys are enjoying as well. Um, we are going to take a quick little, uh, little, little drink break. We're going to, before we get back, we're going to throw a pre-roll on for an hour and a half. So anyone that joins us doesn't get any, um, any ads themselves for the next half hour. Um, if you're enjoying the vibes of the stream, I should have changed Hiroyu's expression to a, a lot happier. <laughs> you are, and we're going to come back to, to the session in a second. But yeah, you guys, yeah, if you are enjoying the vibes... Um, and you want to st stick around and join our community, join the Discord. We have a West Marches game that's set in the same campaign setting. So everything that's happening here happens there. Um, if you're interested in the world of Shrey Leo, this anime um, inspired Japanese and Indian mytho uh, mythology um, influence setting, um, catch the campaign, Throne of Top Sands. Uh, if, you, like, if you're enjoying the, uh, the vibes, feel free to check out the VODs. It's a wonderful... Uh, a wonderful world with some of the my favorite people in the world playing as characters it's 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 a fun time thank you for joining us josh um and yeah and if you enjoy the art on screen uh most of it is mine uh you can ca uh, check it out on discord i mean on discord sorry instagram and twitter uh there um and you if you enjoy the maps those are done by two minute tabletop and yeah, so like while we're taking a break, check all these things out. Check all check check all the things. Uh, I'm gonna shout out Georgia because she does jewelry and she does art as well. And Sam, he he doesn't stream a lot right now, but like he's he is a star of the community. Um, yeah, we're gonna be back in about five ish ten minutes. See you guys in a half second. Bye. See you soon. See you.
start town and i'ma give it back when i have enough money in my hands enough for the friends and the fam and i owe it all to yahweh lord knows that i couldn't do it my way bought a ticket for the fast lane now i'm hopping on a flight to the epiglades to forget the pressure Bonsoir. Hi everyone. Uh, I just want to say uh, thank you guys for sticking around. If you've come from the raid, uh, thank you. I hella appreciate it. Um, I hope you're enjoying the vibe so far. Um, if you can, just refresh the stream if you want to, of course, if you're enjoying the vibes, um, so that like your view does count towards the all the things to help push us up in the in the in the streaming ladder. And if you are enjoying the vibes and you want to stick around, give us a follow and a little uh, click on the notification bell. It goes a long way. Um, and we are actually, today's stream is a fundraising stream for Naro and their impacts on reproductive, or their uh, fight uh, and support for reproductive rights. And if you would like to help support that, you can donate here. And again, if you are being active in your support and fighting, uh, please be safe. Uh, do your research where you can and just yeah stay safe um we're gonna be right back we're gonna throw a quick add on uh in a half second uh just grab some water go 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 take a little breather for a second take a little little mental mental break as well if you need to thank you again for sticking around i hella appreciate it bye
Bonsoir. Welcome back, everyone. Let's do this because that's not on screen anymore. We are. I'm just gonna quickly just do a quick little scene change. I couldn't do like off screen. Um, there we are. Perfect. All right. So yeah, you, Loniko, you in this moment as you get, you feel your spirit is sore, your body falling through the world, plunging into those fathomless depths. You you fell in the waters earlier. You uh, to suddenly feel your feet hit cobblestone. As you, your eyes looking up where the moon was, the night sky is the same. Uh, but the air is different. Your, the altitude is higher. You, you recognize that this is, the air is different. You are in Tashima Rei. You are Kyokai Rei Temple. You are home. The air is a warm autumn breeze that's just nipping at you slightly. Uh, looking around, you can see trees with orange and red leaves uh, and golden leaves. Um, it is the idyllic autumn scenery as you stand on this cliff top on this plinth. The, the, the stone platform plinth of the uh, temple pagoda that you called you called home. Um, as you look behind you, you see you see it towers over you. Um, its white plastered walls depict the various myths and legends of Shreleo. Um, but amongst them is something different. Something new. I'm gonna just take Lo-Fi Boy off the screen for a second because he is not here. Oh. I'm sorry, Lo-Fi Boy. <laughs> it's okay. I need to do this, and I need to do this. Oh, so they can still see your bubble when you speak. Um, yeah, you see on the the amongst all the legends and myths of Shreleo, you see your own exploits carved into these walls in a vision that you. It makes all your exploits look heroic and otherworldly, like that of um, a ukiyo-e painting. Um, carved into stone um the moment before you were confronted by shabbat and that ate you for example uh your tea would time uh the first emergence of queen the phoenix learning to cast a wheel with kiko the confrontation with barnabas you making dinner with rocky rescuing the elf boy knee in the village with gold statues the moments Rocky was arrested and the meeting with Professor, Professor Yuri Katsumi. The moments Lacera had to leave the party. Your climactic battle with the Chimera in the sewers of Isoto. The battle uh, with the Basket Hag in the ruins of ancient Isoto. And finally, the site of Sh the Sheehan statue. As you are taking in these, um, this artistic depiction of your current adventures, um, as you took your, your first steps to becoming a shaman, you s can hear the sound of a flowing river underneath you as you hear the rushing Lash and Sora uh, flowing eastward um, that you've, you've seen so many times in your youth and childhood. Um, the same river that you and Lacera have played in when you were, when you were both children. Um, you can see rushing uh, up the river spirits of varying races and um, creatures. Every now and then some will stop and look at you as they um, as they flow up the flow up the river. As you can you can just about see them as they flow eastward. And like they, someone will stop and uh, look at you, but others will just keep going and racing on. Uh, you know that uh, these spirits are following the river toward the Hiroma. Um, behind the pagoda, you can see a forest that surrounds the temple, and it surrounds the entire like cliffside that you are on, um, creating a border almost around it. Um, that is new. That's not home. That's very. That's. You can't imagine trees growing this fast around Kyoke Rei uh, Temple. 
uh, since the, t uh, the the few like months you've left. Um, looking in the looking in uh, in uh, into these like the shadows of these trees, you can see a prowling mechanical beast with golden glittering eyes stare at you for a moment, but then it slumps back into the shadows and prowls away. As more moments pass, you can see the sight of countless eyes in a small cluster pass in the shadows as the sail of the basket hag spies on you through the bushes and you can see it's black spindly fingers reach out through the bushes to glance at you but then it returns back into the um the shadows of the forest and leaves as you as you look down at the um at the hill uh that like declines down uh down to the coast you can see Komainu guarding the um the steps and you can see there is off on the side a pond uh with a fountain and Komainu guiding that pond as well um give me a second Give me a moment. Where are we? This is the long sheet. This stream has been sponsored by Kleenex for <laughs> the tissue that you need because this is so freaking emotional and crazy. And it's not a real sponsorship, I tell you. Mm. So be. Um, Kleenex. Because this is like so crazy. Oh my god. Oh, the tissues I are available. <laughs> I just, I had to say, I know I'm, I'm not here, um, just here in voice, but still, like, mm. it's crazy. <laughs> yeah. Please go on when you're ready. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh my the... god, oh my god. You can see, like, as the, uh, the hill declined, you can see it's a garden. Um, as you can see the peach blossoms blooming in the corner amongst all the trees and you can see yeah the corner uh, pond with the fountain and the garden combines um you can see stones float on the surface of uh, amongst the lily pads and ethereal koi fish swimming within uh looking like they're asking to be skipped um and you can see on either side of those uh, plinths you can see statues uh with some candles that are lit and some that aren't um are you moving by the way because you are able to move if you'd like to. Um, I think, yeah, she'd probably move um, sort of down the path and then go over to the pond to have a look. Mm -hmm. As you're stepping down the stone steps and crossing through these um, thresh uh, the Tory Gate threshold, you can see spider lilies um, that are closed up. But as you pass them, they begin to bloom and open up when you get within reach and pass by. And as like you make your way towards the um, the the pond over here, you you can see on one side four platforms. When you look at these platforms, they they look to be almost perfectly sculpted. The first one you see is Lo-Fi Boy. Covered in flowers and vines. Um, his candle is perfectly, uh, all well lit. Creating a very bright light. Um, that every now and then flicker. But they're bright. The second is Pimeras. Um, and all her feathers, uh, flower, uh, her lights are lit. But as you pass over them, you can see um, a feather fall from the ceiling, uh, from the sky above. And as it like, as it hits the, the what's it called? As like it passes over the candles, you see that it gets snuffed out in the transition between, in between the, um, 
the feather passing by and as soon as like the the orange uh, fiery feather hits the water surface that gets snuffed out as well um but there's one one of the candles still bright uh, burns bright the third plinth uh, has fall like the statue that was on it has fallen off onto the surface um its candles are all lit but every now and then you see them begin to burn white and start to glitch for like brief moments the fourth uh, fourth statue is missing but when you look into the pond past the lily pads and past the swimming koi fish you can see rocky uh, all his candles are out on his plinth but when um but when you look up from the statue one of them re uh, relights and then they all begin to light up one by one to distinguish once more to leave only one candle left on the other side give me a second as we scroll down on the other side you see a tiefling man with branches like horns or horns like branches windswept hair that stopped just after their neck his face handsome in his features alert playful cautious those were all you can see in his eyes and of an athletic build uh, he's wearing a long sleeveless duster coat with shorts and sneakers along with samurai splint on his shoulders wrists knees shins and covering his chest you recognize the clothes and you recognize the stone statue of the Kamainu that guards uh, this person proudly protecting them um, forever Shiki uh, with a ribbon tied um, around her collar uh, one of these are is Lacera's and you see your bell off um, on this statue as well the the ribbon and the bell are aren't part of the stone they were wrapped onto the stone um, the tiefling man is time without his mask and the candles on uh, this plinth are all gone they're all um they're all gone out sorry but you feel like this when you look at these these aren't what draw your attention or they don't your you don't feel a calling to these statues in particular other than just the deep connections that you have with each one of the people that they represent you feel instead your spirit calls to a fire you can hear the you can hear the snapping and crackling of the fire from the brazier, uh, brazier um, at the base of uh, the path as um, following through the th uh, Tory gates and uh, through the threshold of the Tory gates and down the hill, you'll see a little field of uh, spider lilies that all bloom in your presence again. As sitting with their backs facing to you, four stone statues looking out to the coast, um, the southern coast. And you can see a bench with a teapot and two mugs and a red pillow with a shamsen resting atop it and a moment will pass as uh, as you look at this how is how is low taking this all in can i ask um she'd be very shocked and emotional at seeing her home again mm -hmm. and then kind of excited but cautious sort of walking around um like seeing the statues and sort of quite a lot of wonder even if she's a little bit 
confused. <laughs> um, uh, sort of everything here, and so yeah, just very quiet. And like when she walks past spider lilies and they bloom, she'd like have a little smile and be very excited <laughs> about that. <laughs> Mm. Yeah, she'd be looking around and taking everything in as much as possible, just very slowly, sort of walking. Like she doesn't want to disturb anything too much. Mm -hmm. As you walk through this, you notice also the vibe of the area is. It feels off slightly, almost as if like you you feel like there's a strange atmosphere. It's it is home. It is you know this is home, but like there is very very slight changes and like a lot of things that aren't just very slight, such as the pond and the statues. Um, a lot of things seem new and out of place, such and like the spider lilies, for example. And there's a strange just aura emanating off of everything. Just faintly though. If I do one last thing. But as like you're taking everything in and feeling this in, you begin to hear the the fire begins to spark and erupt as it just flashes upwards. The waves begin to start crashing aggressively against the cliffside. The skies begin to roll over as thunder starts forming in the skies as um as what was a cloudless night becomes extremely stormy and you feel the ground begin to shake and rumble as you hear four voices ring from the statues and from within you why do you come child what brings you to this place I'm here to become a shaman. Is that so? And in that stillness, the four voices peter out and the ground stops rumbling. The storm clouds dissipate. The waves relax. And and the fire stops sparking as aggressively as you feel eyes look at you on from the bench as you see give me a minute that was not meant to be the token that it was <laughs> there you I pretend are. i do not see you. Thank you i appreciate it as you see a fox a ethereal fiery fox with three eyes just sitting on top of the pillow next to the shamisen. Hello. It has the same voice as the one you heard from before. Uh, but instead of four voices, it's one. Hello. Why do you want to become a shaman? I want to help the spirits. There's a lot of misunderstandings, and I want to help be the bridge between the spirits and people. Hmm. Why do you think spirits need to have help? Because you cannot always speak for yourselves. You see, stand up, and then walk towards the teapot. And its tail fans from left to right like a metronome, swaying with the coast, um, with the noise of the waves crashing into the rocks. Uh, but on one, on the on like on on this on this one fan, in intervals, it reveals a tail. Becoming nine a nine-tailed kitsune. If I do 
this. As you see the nine tails form, you you notice its eyes, all three of them, are that of the night sky. The same one above you. Hmm. Interesting. I personally thought I could always speak for myself, but maybe some just struggle finding their voice. Rather selfless, you could say. I suppose. But uh, in my travels I have seen spirits who cannot speak for themselves as you do. And I want to help as best as I can to help find peace and a balance between our two worlds. Hmm. Wonderful. Wonderful. Why is this place? Um, I'm not entirely sure. I also heard mind temples were meant to be embodiments of one's one's inner thoughts, one's inner not desires, but more so just what feels safe to them and what feels right. Do you like the temples? Well, <laughs> I do. This one is the one I grew up in. It's my home, though there aren't any pictures of me on the side of it. Hmm. You see the fox smile. Do you know how you got him? This is this is my home. I I live in other world. This and this is where I uh, where I feel at peace. As he takes a seat and curls up amongst uh, the mugs and teapots. Do you, uh, do will you, have you... A... Sorry, go on. Do you have a name? I do. Thank you for asking. Yuki. My name is Yuki. My name is Lomiko. It's nice to meet you. Hello, Lomiko. Maybe, uh, maybe you might be wanting to offer some tea. Um, Jasmine, probably. Seeing as we're forming a new friendship. How's that sound? Uh, yes. Um, is there anything with the tea pot? Or is it empty? Or... When you go to check, it looks like the tea that um, Hero you made filled with jasmines and uh, tea bags. And it's already steaming. Then I shall. <laughs> Thank you. As you begin to pour, all the spider lilies burst into small flames, turning into cinders and black ash that clings to the petals. And you just see Yuki blow. Blow at the air, causing all the cinders to break away and become just dust scattering in the wind. The once red petals of the spider lilies become ice white or creamy white jasmine flowers. And with the tea in front of him, it's steaming. He, he goes to take a sip. And Bernard waiting for you to take a sip as well. I shall... Is there space to sit on the bench next mm -hmm. to him? There is. He does make, he makes space for then... you. 
I will sit on the bench mm-hmm. and sip my tea. Mm-hmm. As you sip, he... Oh, sorry, they... They look at you with a slightly curious expression. And I f- feel stupid because I just realized I forgot to do a thing. <laughs> oh, that was the wrong thing. There is a thing on screen that I should have put because there is... There. You see... He looks at you with a curious expression. And as you begin to sip your tea and s- drinking it, taking the uh, the scenery in, they also start... They also start drinking it. They, you see, with one hand they lift it up and drink. Um, it looks strange seeing a fox lift, lift a cup up and start to drink from it. But it's, <laughs> it's you expect nothing less from other world. In silence, you guys drink. But once you both finish, Yuki turns to you. With this bond we form, we are Kai. And we are beyond blood. And as those words hit you, you get a warm feeling um, that you assume is from the tea. And you feel this become, begin to feel like fire building up from within you, uh, warming you up like as if you were a furnace, giving you energy, giving you life, giving you hope. To then suddenly feel like you've just fallen into warm fire. Um, your body falling once again as other world around you turns to fire and you just sink into depths to see you feel your body or your spirit begin to soar again as you feel your body hit stone once more you feel your eyes looking up at the moon you are back into material world and you are now a level four sh- or oh, a level one shaman. Yay. <laughs> <laughs> Love fi boy. It is what's it? Give me a second. Roll for initiative. <laughs> <laughs> Unless. No, 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 no! I've been crying so hard, like with the music and everything. I'm glad the music is popping up today. Um, but yeah, love boy, love You see, Lo Nico collapse after, like, you see, like, in like the moments, um. Where Lo-Fi Boy, I mean Lonico, was staring up at the moon for a moment. Like, you feel like an hour has passed. And in that, but like, once the hour finishes, you, would you be just watching as this is happening? Because, like, you guys are still, you guys would be still washing the dishes. I'm going to no, move no, you guys no, over. Like, I was already, like, turning around and not focusing on the dishes anymore. And when she started floating in the air, um,. <laughs> Oh, you didn't I see her wouldn't... floating in the air. She wasn't floating, but her body, her spirit was. Ah, she... uh, okay. I thought her body was floating. Sorry. Now you're cool. Yeah, you see, Lone Nico collapse to the ground. Mm. Can I then just rush over to her? You can. As you rush over, the girls will also rush over, and you all just like hover over her panicked as she has just suddenly just collapsed out of like after like just standing there for an hour here are you uh the shaman you notice was also like she wasn't in a trance state but she was just like watching Lonico, and then you could hear her muttering a prayer but as soon as like Lonico um you re- return back to material you feel your body hit the ground and you stare up, looking at the uh, at the sky again, and at the moon. Give me a second. Um, where is it? You feel your body is... Once you reti- return to you feel that fire feeling still. But your body feels exhausted and sore. Um, here are you, hovering over you. 
asks, You okay, Lonika? As she reaches out to help you up. I'm just gonna, like, nod and take the hand of help. It does, it does knock the wind out of you, doesn't it? As she helps you up. When? Um, Sorry, go a little, yes. Yeah. While like taking it all in, you look around you, seeing only you see this, um, or you assume only you see this, as you can see around you f coming from the exit of the cave. You see tears in the world. Give me a second as I find a thing I need to look for. As Hiryu is concerned and so are the other girls, I'm going to get their tokens to do the thing. Um, you can see the world has tears in it. Uh, roll insight for me. Unless you know, if you like have an inkling, you are allowed to like, like know what it is. But if you don't have an inkling, you can roll insight. Um, <laughs> yeah, you see these tears in the world um, coming from the cave. And are you following them? Are you like trace like because they're, they're like trace like they're throughout the entire like um, cove area that you you're in? Are they like moving? Or? No, it's like some like strange tear that like has like. It glitches every now and then, and like you can see, like into the white nothingness beyond them. I mean, I assume it's like the tears in the world weave. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you, yeah, you, you, you know that they're they're that exactly. But as you can like, as you focus in on them, you can see these holes that have been torn and like just cut in the seamless line. You can just see like into the world weave and beyond you can see like what looks like a sky but you can't like determine like if it's cloudy if it's nighttime if it's daytime or any what specific time it is but you can tell like there is a sky beyond the webbing uh through this through these tears and you hear Hiroyu's voice come from within you um as you notice she was watching you you just hear her voice whisper faintly uh, in your head. Be careful of those. We are tasked with guiding to the other world, but those tears open the weave. We may be able to see past the weave. We are not supposed to be there until our time. Until it is our time. Stay clear of them. And. But after, like, she says that, like, her worried expression goes to a happy, a warm, motherly expression once again. Congratulations, Lonika, on taking your, your first steps into shamanhood. Thank you. Here we are. I didn't have to do it, you? I'm just, just, just here to give you a little push. She'll just, like, give her a bow. She bows back at you. Um... Yeah. Good, good luck mm, on guiding lost and wandering spirits to the Horoma. I'll Would... do my best. Good. good. You all look very tired, and I imagine you're all hoping for your next, next bed. Would uh would you would you care for me to teleport you all home? I should pull off Fireboy on the screen as well. Bring him back. Aye, he's back. Hey. Um, <laughs> Hero, you turns to you all and then just ask, yeah, would would you all like to be teleported back home? Um. Home. Hmm, wherever home is. Wherever you, uh, is there somewhere you're staying t the night? You uh, surely you uh, haven't come to this hidden cove just to just to be here. Unlike me, but like I mean, even then, like I didn't. This isn't my only stop. I 
it was just coincidental that I needed to be here and Isotar at the same time. If you, if you, I'm teleporting up to the city anyway. I don't mind start, uh, taking you anywhere specific. We still uh, have a room at the Adventures Guild, right? Yeah, we do. Uh, I, I think the number of beds there was for originally Rocky, Meryl, Seraph, three, myself, but I, I don't need a bed. I don't sleep. So there are four empty beds. We could all. She... Everyone could sleep there. They, they all smile. Um, Kira looks embarrassed. And when, when you say that, um, and then just, she just says, I, we, 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 we've got our own place to stay. It's thanks, I guess. Um, and hero, hero, you also then says, Oh, don't, don't you worry. I'm, I am staying at, at the, at the guild, but I'm not, I am not, um, I won't be needing to share a room, but I appreciate the offer. That's very sweet of you. Oh, are, are you sure? Because it's, I mean, it's just me and little Nico right now, but the room's a bit big. Hmm. I mean, the, everything happened. We, there's just, there's, I feel like there's a lot that happened, hmm. and I don't know, like, I would have liked the chance to talk more before we part ways. And didn't you want to come shopping with us as well? Well, you'll be in the guild, but Kira, where, where is your home? She, she just like kicks the floor. Um, we, we've, we've, we've got a place to, to go to. Um, but then Kiko does chime in. Can't, can't we just stay for one night? Just just, just one night, Kira, please. Just one night. It'll be fine. We're tired. It doesn't matter if we go back. We can we can go we can come back in the morning. They didn't they don't know when we're coming back. Kira just looks at her. Uh, I mean we would be camping outside if it if it wasn't for this teleporting. How about that? And then and then by midday tomorrow then we part ways. And it would be safer than going through the caves again. Mm. Where Kira just trying to we're not going back into the caves. Not again. As she goes to hold uh, Kiko. And then here are you just Alright, um, but it's gonna mm. cost you one gold bar for the three of you. You just see Kira roll her eyes, and so then Katsumi rolls her eyes. <laughs> and you I... don't know if you noticed it, but you do kind of you you feel like you saw Hero. You just slightly roll her eyes for a brief moment. I'm just kidding, of course. Free of charge or gold bars or whatever they're worth. So it's settled, and she pulls out her purple uh, Shiseki stone again, and it begins to ripple. As you see, it begin to start flaring and crisp and becoming pink, or not pink, sorry, purple crystalline dust that starts forming into water for a moment. And as it's beginning to form into waves and circles of water, they like swirl around you all, and you feel you feel these waters wash over you. And as they encapsulate you, you feel your body being pulled in. Sorry. As you're being pulled in, you... I just want to say, I did roll on the lo-fi boy seeds to just ah. leave a summer pear blossom. Um, yes. Oh, yeah. Just in this location before leaving. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like the teleport does give you time to like plant your seed. In, uh, okay, good. In, uh, just remind me that that's the summer blossom there. Um, but yeah, as you feel the waters swirl around you, you you then get pulled in, and as it pulls you in, you 
feel your bodies splash on to hard surface all of a sudden as you are teleported just outside the giant towering in uh, of the adventures roots um the the building uh, to look if you don't remember it is a fairly old-fashioned building it doesn't look it looks it's just a towering building with um with branches and leaves uh coming out of it uh, like almost as if like they are being supporting the building um what and it is garish it stands out garishly amongst all the skyscrapers of the city and the giant uh electric and magic uh signage that just glows amongst the um the skyline in the night and in the night Isoto is very pretty but um you feel exhaustion take over you as you guys plummet back to the ground and you see hero you open the door um to walk let you guys into the um into the inn stepping in um you see the the red floored reception and the dark oak or dark mahogany wood uh, furniture and the comfy lavish furniture just lining this little reception area and you can hear the the jazz music playing uh, from within from the uh, the dining area uh, that's locked away for only adventurers which you guys luckily are um, you can see at the uh, the reception there is the there is a dragonborn with gold scales and long whiskers um that match very nicely with his white shirt and red um waistcoat with the uh Shrey Leon branch uh dragon uh, logo pinned onto his shirt and you can see the the what's it called as you as you guys step in you can see his name tag uh hikari Or their name text, right? Hikari, just... They welcome you in. Are you all um, staying for the night? As Kiko, Kira, and Katsumi also uh, step in with you guys. Oh, they will be in our in our room uh, that we already have. Oh, have you booked? Are you, are you members of the guild? Uh, yeah. Could, um... could I see your, your identification, please? Uh, yes, just a moment. Um, and I bring out the... Uh, I think it was... Uh, I just, um, I didn't add it to my inventory, but I'm not sure if it was like the, the actual guild thing or if it was the probation it, one it but would be the guild, guild card, or... uh the guild card you would have got yeah it'd be because okay, then... you only have the probation one i believe um, yeah exactly yeah so that that would count and so they happily accept and wonderful you can all uh you know where your rooms are of course uh if you do have any guests they aren't uh although they won't need to pay for for their stay they cannot stay for more than three days um and here you will then just stop. Oh, I'm I'm not a guest. I'll be getting a room for for one, please. Um, and she begins organizing and sorting out her um, her room. You notice that she doesn't isn't a part of the guild. Uh, she just is happy to stay at the night. She and where are we to do the thing? Is it okay also if? Um... Just let me know your room number, so for later. Mm -hmm. Well, if you want, you can actually uh, you can help me to my room. If that's okay with you all. Oh yeah, yeah. Uh, I've memorized uh, some of the numbers and which way they go with the current architecture in case there was a fire. Mm. That's that's very that's very very health conscious and safety conscious of you, little fire boy. Very smart. I always look for fire exits too. I stay at places. Um, I mean, you know, hmm. you gotta be careful with plants. Roll. Don't really like. Um, 
roll insight with the multis while you guys are walking through the um the lobby. Dang. Oh wow. <laughs> Never mind, huh? Wow. Oh shit. Yeah. Uh to be fair, yeah, like you guys aren't um Love Pablo, you're like, although you are very much engaged in your conversation with Hiroyu and just talking about health and safety and the fire exits of this place and plants, because she's very much interested in you, uh, your your work with plants. Um, and she tells you about all the plants she has in her house um, and the ones she raises and like just all the plants she just likes. Um, you do notice Kira, Katsumi and Kika all look very, not nervous, but slightly uncomfortable. As if they're not they don't feel welcome almost and loniko you very much can tell like they it's like you guys are being like very like kind to them and they're not this is very new to them this is they like they they want to say no like, it's like when like, you want to say no to like someone like when like a family give you money um and, like they want to <laughs> they want to say yes but like they also like feel very uncomfortable saying yes in the, in this situation Can um, I go on take Kiko's hand and like squeeze it. <laughs> mm. You can, and she smiles when you do. And she, the uncomfort that you see on her, lifts up, and you can see Kira then gives you a smile as well. Am um, I trying to grab Kira's hand? Because I. <laughs> go ahead. Bro, you, like... you've been stealthy about it. You just like. No, go. no, no, no. It's like I'm trying to be like Lomiko, because like. Yeah. Like recently, that's what like helps not having yeah. conflicts. I'm just like trying to do the same thing. Mm -hmm. As like you like, <laughs> as you see, <laughs> as, you, <laughs> as you see it happen, Kira just sees you reach for her hand, and then just like as you're about to grab it, she just smacks it. What the hell are you doing? Well, well I, I just thought I could hold your hand. I don't. I'm sorry. I didn't. No. Sorry. I don't need. I, it's okay. Well, you do notice okay. her, like, the... No, I'm sorry, fine. I'm sorry. So, uh, I You do notice her, her, like, expression. It, she's not, like, as, like, uncomfortable <laughs> anymore. And Katsumi then smiles, and she, you can hear her just laugh. Um, but Kira does, like, just looks at your hand, like... It's it's okay. Thanks. Anyway. Oh, okay. Yeah, I must be... I'm sorry, yeah. I still... And I fell in the sewers, I, I, and I... I didn't. I should have thought. Yeah. Actually, that's um, a good point. Yeah, you sorry. do. You do kind of smell. I didn't want to yeah. say anything. I like. I know. Um, like. Like we're, well, we. 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 We've. We've had to grow around smelly kids before. So like we're like used to. It. It's, like. We didn't want to say okay. anything. I, I, but I. I was trying to control with the flowers and make it smell like, like a bit more mm. of them than me. But. Ooh. Yeah. Maybe um, I'm gonna try a bit harder. Oh, oh, okay, okay, um, sure, sure, and I cast a druid craft. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> and, <laughs> what does that do? Um, I can make, um, a harmless sensory effect, like the faint odor okay. of a skunk. Ah, so yeah, you can, like, you, you can... <laughs> You can make it smell nice if you want. I'll allow it. Okay, how about nice? That would be yeah. when... better. No, it's, yeah, it's, it's interesting. I'll make it smell worse. <laughs> when you go to do that, you you feel um, the magic pour out from your Shiseki stone that you were carrying as well. The, the bellflower one you made earlier. Uh, oh. The one you had like made within within the rune, or the runes of ancient Isoto. And like when that when you cast Druidcraft the you feel it almost enhanced and brought brought into more it, its effects are stronger give me a second because i need to change the handout to the map of isotope because you guys are not there anymore hand out hand out hand out, hand out, hand out. Map, 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 map. Oh gosh, not gosh, gosh. <laughs> what? What is? It? What is? It? I don't know. <laughs> what? I... Oh gosh. <laughs> Leave me alone. Get out of my house. Session, session's cancelled. Fucking hell. 
that's not a great example of a map to be honest let me let's see if we got a better one alas i do not that's okay oh gosh <laughs> but anyway yeah um <laughs> as um as you guys get to yeah your druid craft enhances um and you smell it isn't just faint this is a lot nicer like it, and it is a lot more clear and present you can you sense that like this is a very pleasant smell and low you get the smell of like orange and lavender that comes off uh here are you and like just the lingering salt on like all of you uh sea salt um is not masked but just enhanced by the flowery smell or enhance or enhances the flowery smell of lo-fi boy now but he still is covered in sewage gunk. Yeah. Um, but as you continue making your way down the hallways, um, the hallways are fairly narrow. Um, like it's it, like you guys like to get like too, to be too wide, too abreast. It is a bit of a squeeze, but like it's kind of like you're like it's like a cozy squish is the way I would describe it. Um, and like it doesn't help because like a hero use uh, just headdress is huge, so it does take a lot of space. <laughs> Luckily, you are very slim, Lo-Fi Boy, so you don't need to worry about that. Um, <laughs> but when you make your way uh, to to her room, uh, she'll she'll stop. Uh, she'll stop you just at the door, and then she'll just uh, just she'll just look at you you um, you two, uh, specifically Don Nico, and then like her eyes uh, remind you of the dawn again when you look at them of uh, orange and uh, golden yellow and orange. Um, Kasakawa is where you're if I feel your spirits are bound to next and a good time too a, a lightning field uh, is a, apparently going to reveal itself on the coast of the island um, where the pebbles wash ashore I believe free of any burden they once bore so that might be might be a place interesting of interest for you I think she gives you a little smile well oh Thank you for the raid, Marquis, uh, Marquis Gaming. Where are we? But yeah. Um, is there anything you want to say before she goes into her room? Because this will be where you say goodbye. Um, uh, thank you so much. And I hope you have fun with your Everyone. friends. We're going to actually go to the, uh, the, the Quartica Bowl. It's, uh, we've heard so much about the restaurant. We're, I'm very excited. Um, I, I mean, I'm staying here for a few days. If if I maybe I'll, maybe we'll see in the hallways. Maybe maybe we can go shopping. Hi hi. Yeah. That'll be fun. Uh, is it okay if we have um just that conversation? Oh uh, yes yes I... You, yes I I remember. Um, you you will you'll have to excuse me, um, Lofa boy, if you want to. And then like she'll yeah. she'll um. She'll open the door to her room and let you in. Uh, I'll be right back, Nico. Oh, uh, okay. Um, I'll take them to the room. Come on, guys. Oh, 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 oh. Oh. Uh, no, Nico. Yeah. I, if if you uh, there's room service, right? And this child. That the, there is you. You've seen right. like staff go around and give you. I believe they they. They've given you room service before. If I remember. If you want to order anything, um, even though we've eaten, I don't know, just like, I know you like candy, um, but I think it, with you becoming a shaman, we should celebrate. So, so I'll I'll meet you guys right up, but make sure to order something. Okay. As you, as the door is about to shut, Kira and Katsumi and Kiko follow you, Loniko, and you, you hear Kira just chime in. Uh, you just hear her, just like, um, just like before the door shuts. I mean, if you want, we we can, we can we can pay for the food, as a as, as a thank you for helping. Um, oh, you don't have to do that. No, no, it's it, it's okay. You 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 want pizza, Donna, gyros, um, pasta. I don't, mm anything um but yeah and before you get to like hear the rest of that conversation the door shuts 
And we're gonna get rid of Low Nico and Low Fi Boy. I mean, Low Nico just. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna hear you. But yeah, so yeah, now you are in the room with Hiryu, and her expression goes from smiling to just quizzical. Curious. Um. Well. Um. So the thing is, um. There's something I, I, I want to ask you. Well. I just. And I actually, I go back to open the door to make sure that little Nico and the group has left. Yeah, they're long gone. Okay, okay, good. I close the door back. Um, it's about the the crystals that I showed you, which weren't Shiseki stones. Hmm. How, c how can I help? Well, the thing is, I didn't just exactly stumble on those stones, they they came off of these skeletal creatures and... Uh, face goes from quizzical to surprise and then a frown. Look, hmm. I, I'm not an expert on... Ne ne on neither am I. I... But this is concerning, yes. Very. What would your thoughts be on, let's just say hypothetically, um, that you knew someone that controlled them, and I, I like turned my back to her, um, because I don't want her to see my face, even if, like, well, my boy has little expressions in his face. Mm -hmm. Um, would you... Are people... I mean, you said it was pure evil, right? And I turned back to her. Yes. This, this was... This magic is not one... They... That we... That we as a people agree with this it's it goes against everything we 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 look up to i i have one more question though and it's just i just want to know if it's the same as as this kind of magic um and surely there's like a, a plant maybe like in the room Is there? Just give me a like, second. I realized you, I just saw your request. Yeah. Give me a second. I do have the perfect music for this. Awesome. <laughs> is this better? <laughs> yeah, it is better. Perfect. Um. And I, I, I want to cast a chill bloom on, on if there's like a plant or mm. like a potted plant or something in the there room. There is a potted plant in the room in the corner. This, and could you I describe was... what your chill bloom looks like? Well, my intent here is not a, like really a lot of like destruction. It's more I want to show the magic, and I want to know if it's the same evil that she speaks of mm. and so i know that like when previously described um chill bloom like was probably like a petal coming off maybe a flow five boy like going towards uh the target and then like exploding in white spider lilies mm -hmm. so it would be that but like small <laughs> like yeah. Mm -hmm. When that happens, it does, yeah. Like, you... It turns to these tiny white spiders that, like, kill a portion of the plant, causing it to wither away and die. And as that happens, you just see her face go to shock. And... Hmm. 
it's like her frown is very deep and this is like this is this has taken her back clearly and she just mutters under her breath that's 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 necromancy that's is it bad I, it, it 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 goes against from our our our, our core values to be to be she and to be to be Shrey Leon is to is to not is, is to is to is to shun such evil magics. It's it prevents it prevents the cycle, especially as a shaman. This 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 this, this, this halts the this alters the 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 flow of life and death. This is not this is not natural. Oh, I. It's just, well, there's a lot of about me that is natural, right? As you can see, and like, I just I, shuffle the flowers. So. I see, I, I do see the spirit within you and another. And I, I do see you are a, an amalgamation of, of many, many Sri Leon values. But this, this magic is, it's, it's not right. And yes, it, it, you you are correct to assume it's the crystal does does hold the same the same energies. I can only hope that the evil that is within the spell that you just cast is is less. Hopefully. Oh, it's, my intention is not evil. It's more. With having studied flowers and being, well, hanging around with Little Nico, I, I just felt like it was one way to try to protect her, or to protect myself. I just, and seeing also some lives fade away, like that spirit or that other forge I, I'm sorry if I've done something wrong <laughs> yeah I open up <laughs> you <laughs> <laughs> sorry it's okay you see her expression just like kind of like she is like very much a concerned mother in this moment i i i i hope i hope for your sake and everyone's sake that i you this 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 isn't something you wish to pursue this isn't these magics they're not they're, they're, they're not what you are drawn to correct surely Yes. Uh, no, no. I, the only thing that I'm drawn to is. I, I'm not sure. It's more, more, more what I feel when I'm around Loniko or Chimera, the Sarah Rocky. Even time. It, it's. It's. The connection. The, the smiles, the laughter, the share, uh, and and also the shiseki stones. They they I feel them resonating sometimes, as if they were alive. I that's, I want to protect that. I want to protect them. That's the spirit within. That's and you should you should. I. She looks almost conflicted, and like she does, she doesn't know how to like respond and react to the things that you guys have said, or the thing you've said. I. Um. I. I, I, I don't know what to say. I don't know. I, I, I don't even know what to think. 
Oh. Oh, oh, there's one last thing. That I think you should know. The... So I'll just say, right? The, the skeleton crystallized. They're undead, right? That's what they are. I I I I don't know what to, I don't I don't know. If 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 the they, the energy they emit are are what like are contained within these crystals. Maybe. I by I wouldn't know. That's fair. I mean, I'm not undead and I can emit some of that magic. Hmm. Oh yeah, and the thing about it, I'm sorry, um, they were kind of like in the sewers, so just be careful, like, don't go in the sewers, I know you wanted to go shopping, but don't go there, um, I, I, I you really don't... helped us out by teleporting us here, and I, I just thought you should know. She tries to put on a brave smile when you 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 got you offer those and and the thanks. So um, I'll I'll try I'll try not to go into the sewers. I, I don't think the I don't think the sewers are near the the um the the <laughs> near the shopping uh, malls or. Or, oh, or but, but there's else. like a manhole, like really nearby, like, like, like. Oh. Uh, but it's not that you should worry about it. But there, but yeah. Oh, I, I, sh I shall keep my eye. Thank you, thank you, Lofi boy. Um, and and don't worry about the teleport. Um, I, I, I do think I, I do need some rest though now. I, I, I feel, I feel almost like the wind's been taken out of me. Um, but maybe um, we'll, I'll, 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 we'll come, maybe, I'll, 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 I'll see you, um, and, and if you, if we, we can maybe go shopping, maybe go grab a bite to eat. But just... Can I ask you one last thing? One last thing. Uh, it's just... Are you afraid of me because of what I've shown you? I I'm just looking to understand it. I, I'm not... I didn't mean to scare you or to... She... I'm... When you ask that... She goes over to you and the expression is like that of a... Of a mother. And so like that, like that's... The aura she has only given out the entire time you've, you've met her. And she... You see tears well up in her eyes. And she is sad that you you said that, um, but more so sad that you worry that. And she goes to hug you, and then giving you a tight tight squeeze, and then goes to clasp at your hands. I'm not I'm not afraid of you. I'm worried for you. Oh, fuck boy, like, I'm sorry, his tears. Um, okay. Sorry. No, don't, um. don't, don't be sorry. It's, it's, you just, you just, you're just curious. It's okay. Okay. Yeah. Um, oh, then here, um, oh. I give yeah. these to people. Because, <laughs> because it makes me feel like I can stay connected to them, and I, I don't want. I, I'm, I'm sorry. Before you say anything, Sam, was it? It was. Did you pick the jasmine seed? No, it was random. That yes. was beautiful. <laughs> this session is full. Of, oh my god. <laughs> When you hand her, the, she lets go of your hand and sees you give her the jasmine seed. Thank you. She gives you a smile. Um, 
she the expression moves from sad worry to just melancholic happy is the way i would describe it and she places it into her um uh, into her pouch thank you for this you take care of yourself now okay as she just like pats you on the face <laughs> she, having to t she has to tiptoe when she does that <laughs> okay um well have a good night we're we're gonna try to celebrate a little for Loniko. don't let don't let the other girls be mean to you okay and look after Loniko mm. Lo for me I will. Good. She she pats you once more on the face. Well, I'll. What room are you in? You don't need to remember because I, I don't think I gave you a room number. So just pretend <laughs> you gave her. Yeah. <laughs> um, perfect. Okay. I'll I'll come find you one day and or in the next few days and like if if you if you still are you are you gonna be around for maybe three four more days? I, I unless unless. You know that we're forced out of here. Then, yeah, mm -hmm. no, then we should be around. Wonderful. There's... I don't think you have reason to be forced out. But yeah, okay. You, you rest up. I'll come see you in a few days. Okay. Okay. Good, Good night. And she opens Good the door night. for you. I and... take my stinky house out of here. <laughs> oh no, it's not stinky. It's true. It's very flowery now, yeah. right? Mm. We're gonna now go over to uh, Lonico. We'll get rid of Lopi Boy for a second. As <laughs> as Kira's uh, still offering, just like different types of takeaway to order for for you guys, uh, Lonico. And she like she she doesn't take no for an answer. She just keeps saying, "No, no, it's fine. No, we'll pay. It's fine." What would you like? Um... Sushi. You like sushi? We've had one fish today, I, to be fair. I was gonna say uh, pancakes. Pancakes it is. Alright. This place has pancakes, don't they? You could just order some from here. Katsumi just gives a nod. And you guys get to your room. When you get to your room, you see a few things. Um, placed on all your beds, you see a notice. Even on Rocky's, Pimera's, and Lucera's bed. Let me find the handout. You, it's a sheet of paper similar to the quest cards that you get from... Um, I'm going to change the music. Similar to the quest cards you find in... Um, from the what's it called that was not meant to do the thing i wanted to do similar to the quest cards you get from the guild uh, but it's a bit bigger and this one looks to instead be instead of a quest it looks to be a notice let me see where it is where'd i put it i'm a ding dong sometimes there you are <laughs> shot players yeah. you see this notice and it's got above it the seal of the adventurous guild Welcome, adventurers, to the Shrey Leon branch of the Adventurers League, the leading adventurers guild that is held above all globally. We hope you've been enjoying your time at this cutting of our chain of inns, the adventurers roots, and have been able to grow in the short time you spent under our canopy, and we expect you'll be growing you'll continue to grow and become an outstanding hero. While as a member of our guild, you'll find we have many services that we are that are, are provided only to you as esteemed adventure who's providing a service to all who need our help. These include cheap lodging and food provided by the League, many discount of the settlements that have one of our bases, servicing and repair for equipment, constant work with clear guidelines to make sure you're not in over your head, free treasure inspections to search for curses and assess loot that may not have aged well to compensate you for your efforts, and many more. We expect, we expect the great things, adventurers. May your, your exploits be legendary. And as you pick up the sheet of paper, uh, Loniko, you feel your your quest card from the guild. You feel like it kind of burn in your pocket. I assume it's in the pocket. Are you, are you do you keep it in a pocket? Where are you keeping it? <laughs> <laughs> it's 
it's in a pocket. <laughs> as you feel it burn, you as you pull it out, you see that it no longer says um, probation, and it is fully certified now. You are now a member of the guild. I have a license to kill. You... <laughs> My God. <laughs> Um, you also do see a few other things. <laughs> As... <laughs> James Bond was on the mm. TV. <laughs> wow. You see Katsumi is getting comfortable in the room. She's like, just like, she just throws herself on your bed. Um, oh, not Katsumi, sorry, Kiko just throws herself on your bed. Um, and Katsumi and Kira are just like looking around, looking for the phone. And you see Kira pick it up and then just start really awkwardly ordering pancakes. Um, Lonika, what kind of pancakes do you like? Ooh, um, with some strawberries, uh, maybe some cream. Uh, can we can we get some strawberries and cream? Mhm. Mm you want you want syrup with that? Chocolate sauce. Oh, chocolate sauce, please. Mhm. Mm yeah, uh, chocolate sauce, please. What about Lo what about boy? What does he want? Um, he doesn't eat, but could you maybe get him some water and lemon juice? Can we get some water and lemon juice, please? Thank you. And then she hangs up the, the phone. Okay. Okay. And she starts uh, s sitting down and settles herself down. And you just see that she like just... Her body just kind of like melts into a chair as she just immediately just zones out and just like falls asleep. And Katsumi just like hovers over and just like just um, pats her on the head and like just uh, brings her head just into her body and just holds her there and just leans against the desk that had the phone on. As and as you order the pancakes, you see the door. You you the door opens again with Lo-Fi Boy. And when you both step into the room, you see on the bed, um, a pi Pimera's bed, you, um, what's the word? Yeah, you see, um, a feather from Queen on the bed. You, you can assume that was for Rocky. And you can see Sparky the Shiseki stone. Um... Anything you want to do with those two? Um, I'll take uh, the feather to put it in my bag mm -hmm. and to keep it safe. And I'll probably pick up the Shiseki stone and then go over to Lo-Fi Boy. Cool. Um, the night kind of passes over. Um, Katsumi does as like you got after you guys have eaten, and like it's like. Kira doesn't it doesn't wake up um, when the food arrives. Uh, so, but when she does wake up, she gets some cold pancakes. Um, you know, she only has one, and it's got, but it's just covered in chocolate syrup. Um, <laughs> <laughs> um, Katsumi also Katsumi is just very fruity. It's just like all of them like like there's a there's like it's more fruit than pancake. And Kiko's is just covered in powdered sugar and chocolate as well. Um, and they happily eat along. But uh, while eating, Katsumi, um, just eating at the fruit, she looks at you, Lofo, and then just, uh, up holds out like a little pa um, a pod on her one of her prosthetic arms to reveal like a toolkit from within, and then she pulls out a screwdriver. Did uh, did you want me to examine? Um, do you want me to shower first? <laughs> yes, please. And then <laughs> And so I, I I pour my water on myself, but this time not for hydration. <laughs> hmm. <laughs> the very first time that I ever pour water on myself for well, no, I guess yeah, no, before it was the spell of precipitation, so this is the first shower of my life. Before, um, what, 
while sorry while you shang i just want to say epi you fucking g oh my god looking fan art you guys looking fan art it's been a minute I'm going, I'm going. It just it literally the moment literally just happened <laughs> what? Oh, that's so just cool too, you're too fast epi those these are all stunning if it's okay with you i would like to add them to the reel um and if you if you're cool with it, i would also like to show them on uh, on stream as well um but yeah uh as you, sh as you shower uh the girls finish their pancakes um kiko will be fairly excited she's um dang no worries oh but yeah kiko is fairly excited she's having a blast uh she i don't know if like you would want to but she would be like humming along and just like trying to like, make music uh, like and just like humming and singing songs like that improvising on the spot hoping that you would jam along <laughs> with her would you like to jam along with her uh yeah i'll i'll jam along with her wonderful i want you guys won't need a role performance it doesn't matter because you guys are just vibing um and katsumi's just clapping along kiko's just Every now and then she'll just jingle her uh, earring. But then she'll be like just... She's still like... She looks almost uncomfortable. It's a bit too lavish of a place for her. Um, but upon finishing your uh, shower, Lo-Fi Boy, would you like to be opened up? Um, sure. I, I want to make sure... Yeah, I mean, I guess so. Yeah. Don't worry. I'm I'm an expert. I told you I made I made these, and she shows you her arm and starts flexing them. I mean, they are pretty strong. What can I say? I uh, could say you're a good engineer. Thank you. All right, lie down on your bed. Uh, okay. Um, um... Actually, give me a second. Hmm. She just, like, just looks around the room. Hmm. Like a mannequin or something to prop you up against. Actually, yeah, we'll do that. Okay. Um, there is a mirror in the corner, and you just see her slide this mirror in front of your bed, so you can almost like look at it. And then you see... Kira, could you do me a favor? Mm hmm Could you just, just make a little mirror for me? Just 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 up here on the ceiling. Just, and I and angle uh, like this this one. And she like does like an example with her arm. Um and you see uh in a puff of crystalline purple smoke and the sound of jingling jewelry, a mirror materializes. Um uh, with the pink sheen to it, but the reflection of it hits perfectly on lo-fi boy's back to show him the reflection of his own uh insides if when when they're open okay um love boy i'm gonna need you to take off your shirt uh, I, yeah you know what model you are how old you are any any, any uh... anything about your schematics I, you are not on screen. Let me fix that. I believe... Uh, 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 I... I'm... Well, I'm called Lo-Fi Boy because my my number or my... Well, it's 10 Phi 80 Y. Um, mm -hmm. Forge. I'm just going to send you something. Um, oh, I was manufactured on, De um, on December 7th. And you're gonna send me something. Yes. <laughs> oh. Oh. Um. Right. And I would be an L four V three N D three R model. Hmm. Think. All right, my 
think. Like 50 ish, 60 years? Kasakawa, right? You're. Mm -hmm. Okay. <clears throat> Alright, give me a minute. Okay. Uh, she pulls out the screwdriver and. Can you roll? Can you bolt roll perception checks for me? What, me? Mm hmm. As you guys are like just watching her open, begin to start unscrewing a big back plate off Lo Fi Boy's back. Good night. Lo-Fi Boy, you... You don't notice anything. You almost feel like you're getting a massage. Is what it kind of feels like. <laughs> as you feel nice. your, your back plate getting screwed off. Loniko, you are watching Katsumi just begin screwing. And you can see her, her face is extremely focused. Just give me a second as I change the expression. And you can see at some point she unscrews a bit. And you can you just hear the faintest sound of a crack. And you see Katsumi's expression go from, oh. And then she quickly screws it back in. <laughs> not, not there. And then she goes back to screwing. But she's able to take off a big piece of uh, Lo-Fi Boy's back plate. And then she ta she moves apart some of your, uh, your hair on the back of your head. And begins unscrewing. Um, unscrewing off the back of uh, your head as well. And takes a plate off there, and then some off your legs. Give me a second. Okay. Oh my god. <laughs> he finally was on the sunset rail. I can't believe you did this. Oh my god. But yeah, as your uh, as your plate are being taken off, um, Lonico, you can like you get like a, a, a good look at them. And like love where you can just about see through all the reflections, but it's still a bit like weird um, with the angles. When looking into the portion uh, behind on the back of his head, um, well, when you when you look through through all the in, inner chambers. You see, um, some of the machine. Oh, give me a second. I just need to read the thing. Yeah, you see a mess of broken machinations, held together with vines and roots. Um, but you see that these roots are glowing, and you can see like there's like wires in inside the roots, and surging as if energy is flowing through them, almost like veins. Um, and but some of these machines aren't broken. Uh, the main hub in the back of the head. Uh, it's like a tape machine. Like it's got like you can see two tape reels spinning, and just a few like tubes lighting up, and you can see they are glowing and just exhausts and parts just like are just like all like amongst the mess of like uh, flowers, uh, vines and uh, tubes and wires. Um, in his back plate, you can see there is. Um... This is the, actually the interesting bit is you see a shiseki star and it's like like all the ones you've seen before in the wild um in in but an ancient isotope they are it shimmers between various colors uh rippling constantly uh lofa but you know like you you constantly feel this beat and pulse uh lonico when you look at this you can see the colors um like change as if a beating heart and like when lofa boy like you opened up that like moved uh, faster um, and you can see in certain places where the the Shiseki stone has broken off and created fragments in on on the metal and on certain plants and ha the plant has grown within the stone but there's also in places where the stone has grown onto the plants and have become crystal and formed around through lofi boys in a in a chambers Loniko, though you notice a few things when um <laughs> um when you um when local boy 
not look like with Lonico. When you look at him, you can see latched onto the um, onto the Shiseki stone, you see a spirit. You see the tiniest, faintest wisp of a of a fire, just just like swirling around the Shiseki stone, and you see like every now and then it'll touch one of the vines and the, the plant, and you see a burst of energy go from there as if like a pulse or like just new, um signals uh like a nerve signal being sent off uh to the brain or from the brain or from the core um but you can also see another spirit that's just like wandering around and you can see it just coming out of like the chamber where uh his arm is you can just see like a hollow where he's like where you could assume the arm would be and you can see a little tiny wisp spirit flow in and you just see just look around and you see just one, like, just like moving through this maze of vines, tubes, and wires and machine. And as like you're noticing these, you can see in the corner of your eye a green, a spectral green, fiery kitsune with purple wisps uh, burning off of it. Just step into your peripheral vision. And just look inside, lower five boy, and then look at you. You guys can't see this, only Lo Nico can see this. Hmm. Why does your friend here have two spirits in there? Yui, uh, uh, Yuki asks. So I'm gonna put him on screen, or them on screen, sorry. Strange that nothing normally has two inside them. Uh, well, it's um, a little complicated. Why is it complicated? As you see well, the Kitsune peer inside Lo Fi Boy. And you see him, you see, sorry, you see them shrink and then actually climb into. Lo-Fi Boy's, uh, body. <laughs> what? <laughs> I know I don't see that, but still, though, that's and so... His ta whoa. Yeah, their tails are huge. And just fans outwards. And it's just, like, staring at, like, the inside of Lo-Fi Boy, and then looking at the spirits. Hmm. Well, She's just gonna kind of reach for the like, oh, hey, Yuki, please be careful. Are you reaching into uh, Lofi Boy? No, she's just like oh. reaching out a little bit. <laughs> Kira <laughs> and Kiko will kind of like, like what's uh, you you okay, you okay, Lo Nico? As Katsumi oh, sees I... you trying to reach in or like get up to reach, and then she's like, "Wait, hold, hold on now." Oh no, um, it's, it's uh, there's just um, a spirit and uh. Excuse me. What? What do you mean, spirit? What do you mean? Oh, what, um... Well, as all, all three girls um, say that at the same time, and like, I imagine Lo Fi Boy, they all say it at the same time, Lo Fi Boy says Yeah! <laughs> oh, um, well, uh, for one thing, there's a little spirit attached to your Shiseki stone, Lo Fi Boy, um, and also there's, uh, that little spirit, you know, the one that you, um, ate, um, that was from the food, um, you He's kind of Sorry, go floating around in there. Mm. You key pipes up when you say that. Hmm. So this one's a this one's a food spirit, then maybe. As it oh, yes. peeks greedily at the uh dango one. Lot of boy. Yuki, I... please. Um please be careful inside, my Are friend. You... Are you saying this aloud, or are you just saying it, like, telepathically? I mean, has he been speaking telepathically? He, he's been speaking with oh. his mouth. Yeah, so you, you hear it as sound. not know it any better than to just... Because <laughs> like, he... she doesn't know what her powers are yet mm. and how to yeah. do that. So she's probably just speaking in a bit of a loud whisper and just... She, like, doesn't want everyone else to hear, but she doesn't know how mm. to... <laughs> Kiko's, yeah. Kiko's very close to you and she's like trying to pe listen in to what you're muttering. Well, who, who, who are you talking to, Lo Nico? Is, that, is everything okay? 
as you see key oh, I... oh, sorry go on yes it's just um uh, a spirit that i met when i um went to the other world um she looks shocked you went to other world as Yuki then just like you you can see in the corner of your eyes he just smiles. Or oh, sorry, they smile dev devilishly. Hmm. I probably should have mentioned. They can't Where our link may be strong. But they uh they don't they don't see that. They You you can hear me as clear as day. But uh, just 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 remember that they can't. And he just smiles. As he continues to turn back yeah. to the to the spirit <laughs> and just watches it. She's just going to whisper, like, is there a way I can talk to you without, um, you know, talking out loud? Think. Think. Think long, Nico. Okay. Um, but hey, don't worry, Kiko, it's, it's, it's fine. Um, it's just, you know, where I went when, um, actually, I, I don't know what was happening here but yeah it's when I, where i went um after the after the dance what oh my god oh, oh my god's indeed no 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 oh my god as in oh my god plural oh my god <laughs> that's that sounds so cool okay i'll be quiet i'll let you do your work as like katsumi's still just working away looking at like the inside of love by boy um well, you, Yuki's yeah, just like still there, just look at watching you. Just, just curious how you're gonna react to this, uh, this little situation. Is it a bad thing, Oniko, that the other spirit is still there? Is it like, is it bad? Did you, I... um... Yuki jumps out of Lo-Fi Boy, and then goes and stands on his head. <laughs> oh no, your friend's worried. Your friend's worried, Lonika. <laughs> oh no, is the spirit a problem? Um, what will you do? I think it's I think it's fine. Um, no, I mean he's um well um the spirit is a food spirit, so um I think it's okay. It doesn't seem it doesn't seem to be doing anything in particular. Can it do of, anything? You, see you can talk to spirits, right? Can you? Can you just ask it if it's okay <laughs> if I if I do bring, if yeah? You Yuki goes down to Lo-Fi Boy's ear, but like you know he can't hear it, and he just whispers <laughs> to Lo-Fi Boy, "Oh no, this food spirit's been eaten, but there's no nowhere to go. Oh no, he might be lost." But maybe he is. Maybe 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 Lo, Lo Nico can do something about this. But we will have to see. Just you, just you wait, Lo Fi Boy. I'm I'm just I'm just as curious as you are. I'm just as excited. <laughs> She's a smart girl, I know. But we'll see. We'll see how this goes. I'm Go on, Lo Nico. <laughs> what you, what you, what you gonna do about this food spirit here? That's stuck within your robotic friend. Um. You got this. I believe in you. I should. I have to believe in you, of course. I, uh, I, my, my trust in you should be, should be above anything else. And I, I trust, I trust that you're smart. Go on. Help this, help, help the food spirit out. Where, where is the food spirit? <laughs> It's inside Lone Lofa Boy. And it's like wandering. It's still like just looking. It's trying to like, but like it, it goes down his leg. And you can see like uh, Katsumi's open like a panel on his leg. So you can just like see that like the spirit just wandering through and like it like reaches the dead end where his foot is. And then it comes back up, realizing that like, that's a dead end. So it goes back to his body. Hmm. Can I um, t t t just <laughs> wherever it is, can I like try and sort of go close to it i guess or near whichever part of low boy boy it's currently flowing around in. <laughs> mm, yeah you can uh as he's just like trailing up his leg you can go over but katsumi is like hovering over low boy and is, as you try to go towards him she would be careful loniko 
you touch anything and it may may be bad just, just, uh, be, just I, be careful I, I just, just 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 look look with your eyes and i know kiko's like that too she when when i'm fixing things she might want to play or like touch stuff but look with your eyes worry, I... not with your hands i won't touch <laughs> Yuki then hops off Lo-Fi Boy's head and then walks up his body towards Katsumi and then just grows big and looks at her dead in the eyes as she's like fixing Lo-Fi Boy. Hmm. I don't think she knows what you're trying to do, Lonika. Hmm. Go on, let's see what you're trying to do. Go on, try. Um, can she try it like thinking to this other spirit or like she that not <laughs> and just be like um, excuse me um mr food spirit <laughs> but like in the mind <laughs> as you're thinking that yuki goes small and then wa uh, walks over to you playfully and then just sits next to you and watches you and then watches the spirit again as you start thinking that though the the spirit stops in lo-fi boy's leg huh huh who, who's there who, who, who someone someone call hello can i just be like over here and just wave <laughs> yeah and as you, as you do that you just it turns up and you can just see it like an eye look back at you uh, similar to like the yokai eyes that you normally see, like the um, but it's only got it's got two eyes, and uh, it's just like like the Bakoran spirit that you saw earlier, um, and it just like kind of like panics and just like sc scooches back, and you kind of see like sweat like beads materialize off of it as it gets alarmed by your presence. Oh my gosh, sorry, I just I don't. It's... Hello, what are you oh, so? Okay. Who are you? It's okay. Uh, my name is Loniko. Hello, Loniko. I'm Dango. <laughs> Hello, Dango. Um, you appear to be lost. Yes. Do you know the way out? Do you have a map? Um... <laughs> <laughs> He's in the lo fi boy verse. I just said, <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> Next Christmas one shot come into a Christmas near you. <laughs> or a Twitch near you. Christmas near you. Um, um do I know what usually happens to like food spirits? <laughs> like how you... they don't get lost. <laughs> you can roll <laughs> you can roll religion. But you can also ask Yuki if you like. Yuki is available. Fucking operation. <laughs> when you talk to the phone, like. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's so, like you you know like the whole thing with spirits is like when they depart they go to other world and like they've like there's that process where like the people spirits have to travel down the Lush and Sora, uh, down into the gate, while food spirits take a different path. Instead, once like they're consumed and like their energies have been used, they that's them essentially passing on, is the way I would describe mm. it. Like it's like, like you might have heard time mention the phrase, they'll return to what they were, or like, like I can't remember what he exactly said, but it was in response to how like spirits will return. Like there's a cycle, where like a spirit we can't will go back to where it needs to be. After like I think it was in response to you guys fighting yokai. But like that's like kind of like the the idea of like, where, like once it's done its path it will it will naturally go where it needs to be. So it needs to be eaten, right? Mm-hmm. Like, Yuki will give you a Yuki. nod. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But I don't think your friend here has a stomach. And he, he goes small and looks inside and you just see him scampering to him. <laughs> I can't find his stomach, Lo Nico. Lo Nico, there's no stomach in here. Lo Nico. He, he doesn't have a stomach, Yuki. That's, that's why 
Oh, I see, he doesn't have a stomach. Interesting. Um, and he gets big again and steps out. Yes, Lonico? You, well, earlier you looked like you wanted to eat. I did. Food spirit. I am that... rather hungry right now. Peckish. There's some pancake spirits over there that also have my name on them. <laughs> and he just eyes the pancakes in the corner. They're like, um... Kiko hasn't finished. Well, seeing as this dangle spirit has nowhere else to go, do you think you could say less? No. Freedom. <laughs> <laughs> you had the spirit just say. <laughs> Delicious. Well done, Lonika. Well done. Oh, um, thank you. Thank you for the help. Always here to help my buddy out. Uh, my blood bro- well, my blood sister. Blood sibling. My Kai sibling. Well, that would kind of defeat the point of a Kai, wouldn't it, if we were siblings? Hmm. <laughs> Just Kai. Kai's a good word. Loniko Kai. Yes, Loniko Kai. Call me Yuki Kai. Yes. yes. I, I like that. Do you like that? I like it very much, Yuki Kai. Wonderful. Goodbye, Lonika. Oh, uh, goodbye. Oh. If you want some pancakes, I will help yourself. You don't even like see like like you saw like there were spirits on the pancakes. By the time you look back, they're gone. <laughs> and now I'm gonna talk out loud again. Um. <laughs> Katsumi like was has stopped and like what you've been doing is Katsumi stopped because like, I imagine your head's been trailing after Yuki. As this has been happening, as he's been moving all over Love Five Boy's body. So yeah. she's been watching this happen. Kira's watching this happen. Kiko's watching this happen. They are in shock. But they've all stunned and just watching what's going on. You okay, Loniko? Katsumi asks as she goes back to repairing uh, or looking at Love Five Boy. Yes, everything's fine. Uh, the, food, the food spirit is gone now. Love Five Boy is <laughs> no longer lost in your body. Oh, nice. Um, did, was it okay though? Like, was it angry? No, he just couldn't go anywhere because you don't have a stomach. Oh. But it's okay. Mm. <gasps> oh, I could have a Katsumi. What if I had a yes. composter inside of me to create soil for the plants? Oh my god. That way. That way. She was I ready to roll her eyes. <laughs> he That's... wants a stomach. <laughs> I like that. Hmm. Okay. Like, uh, do you have like? I mean, is there anything like? Do you know? Um, hmm. Do you know if your model had a composter before? Because I... if you did, like, I it might still be in here. It's under all the mm. the vines and well... the mess. I mean, I was forged for botanical reasons, so... Mm, it makes sense. It, it, it could have been part of it. Hmm. Okay. Alright, let me... Let me just know if this hurts, okay? And uh, uh, okay. You feel her begin to pry at some of the vines. She's very ginger and cautiously about it, or cautious about it, so that she's not like tearing at any of the vines or the roots. But you do feel some discomfort as they're being moved. Mm. Is this okay? Hey, hey can, just I can probably try to cast druid craft on myself to make them mm -hmm. less in the way. So just okay, okay. okay. I for think the ones that you do try here. Just go a bit slower. Yeah. yeah. She, you feel her fingers point just under your throat. Okay. Try, try here, okay? And uh, uh, okay. you don't even need to cast Druidcraft. Like, although, like, you, it's your your brain is in the same process as this happening. Loniko, you watch mm. this happen. You can see the Shiseki song glow and begin to, like, surge through the entire body of Lo-Fi Boy. But then it stops. But, like, as it stops, you see the roots begin to move. Um, how do you... Is it just you just, like, kind of clearing them open? Um... 
since it's in the throat area, actually, I imagine it's just more like trying to swallow, if that makes mm. sense. Mm -hmm. Yeah, as yeah, you can see like the vines and tubes and ropes just and and plants just like move in a swallowing motion to like open up a a little area just where like the collarbone would be a like tub that looks to be just full of plant uh, roots that like have just grown within them and like filled it completely up and as you think this like you can feel the vines and the just plant life just move out of that and then kind of like reinforce the shape of this little area this like this this pocket essentially um with some of the roots like leak leaping over but like just like holding on um as if like that's like when it becomes compost they are submerged in this little area um but you feel this area like you feel almost like you can like breathe better and you can like almost like you feel hungry is the way i would describe the feeling That's so fascinating. It's interesting. <laughs> Katsumi it does like just stand back and she's like just looking at, huh? Huh? Did I? Could you? Mm. Could I have a mouth? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe you had something Do... like. You... She follows. She can see like there's some tubing. That like guides in, and but it doesn't go up to your mouth. It follows uh, the side of you, and you you can feel her finger tracing it, and like all the screwdriver tracing it from within. And then you just see like you feel her finger stop on the side of your body, and then you she reaches over you and then just taps your side in like where like where your appendix would be. Uh, huh. And then you just see a plate. Uh, you feel a screw um, just re releasing some of the, uh, the, the the bolts there. And then you feel like you can like you can almost breathe again as like she releases his vent. Huh? You had this clogged up. And, oh. and like you can just and she points to it and you can just see like a little hole in your side. That kind of like put, like opens up, uh, opens out, but it just has to be released. But like it's um, it's like a like almost like a cup holder, is the way you would describe. It. But like in like it's, and then she just pushes it back in, and then you feel it like close back up, and you can feel like your tube, the tube that like she traced over, kind of had like this motioning move, like this weird like feeling in them that like it's as if they, whatever like was would have been put there is being pushed up give me a second love. okay is it okay if i try something love boy yeah 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 uh, this this feels better in a way mm -hmm. go, go, go ahead she goes and grabs one of her blueberries from her um, pancake and just opens that slot up again and pops it in your side and then closes it and you can feel as soon as like that closes up, you feel the blueberry moving up from within you. Going all the way up to where your throat would be. Or where that like, um, your compost uh, area would be. And you feel the blueberry just slot itself there. And then just almost like... Biodegrade. Rapidly. In that like moment. And like you feel like whatever, like the blueberry that was there isn't there anymore. But you feel nourished. Oh, oh, is that? I, it, that's this. I'm. I, it's hard to explain. Like, it's not. Huh? Wait, do that again. Okay. <laughs> she pops another blueberry. Again, again. She pops another blueberry in. You feel that same feeling of it moving up your body into the compost uh, little section and it biodegrades naturally as like the essence of it gets poured into your roots and you feel it like even feeling your shiseki stone this is so cool 
I I can feel the the energy. It's it's moving inside of me. Like kind of like when Loniko heals me, but but at a less way way smaller scale. But it's very refreshing. It kind of it's whoa. Whoa, that's so cool. Yo! <laughs> okay, you wouldn't say yo. This is me being hype. <laughs> I know it is. But, whoa! Like... Mm. You can is, that, is that eating? I I don't I don't know. To be fair, like Lofa, Lonico and Lofa were you I mean, uh Lonico, you and the other girls are like amazed and like watching this and like, watching the blueberry move up his body and then just decompose. And you do see the essence of a spirit leave the blueberry and then go into the plant and then like kinda of, like just like disappear. And when this is all happening, you you can see Lonico Katsumi still just studying over um lo-fi boy's body hmm. is there any anywhere else you think you're having trouble with or anything else you wanted to look at um um but like well, i mean other than like these like i mean these there's these broken parts but like i can't no, i think i think no, I'd, I'd need i'd need a replacement these aren't they're fried a lot of you is fried it's amazing. I'm amazed that you still work. You you should. There's, like your 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 battery. It, it dried up. I'd, I'd assume twenty years ago. Your uh, all these systems. I don't even know what half these do. I I the it was well. I wasn't even. I've never done this before. So like. If you want to do just a general checkup, like, feel free, but, like, as far as I know, um, no, no, that, that's, the only thing, mm, no, no, it's more like, no, if you can just check at, at what's good, and if everything's, yeah, just a general checkup, and, I guess, well, I, I'm not sure if it's a proper thing to ask, but if there's anything you see that seems to be, like, about to break away, just so that I would know to maybe think about a future prosthetic if, mm. if needed. Mm. But, but other than that, no, like, I... I am already super grateful. Okay. I'll have a look. And... There's a radio in your room, and Katsumi goes to turn it on, just to, like, let some music just to come on, to, like, fill the, the room. Just so, like, because, like, she... And she just, like, is like, hmm. If you're okay with it, I'll, like, I can, I can do I can do a look around. I'll probably be an hour. I'll make some notes, and yeah. we'll see. We'll see what's up. Yeah, that would be great. In that meantime, the the music is funkin'. It's it's some it's some good stuff. And Kiko is vibing. Kira is tapping a foot away. Um. And Katsumi is just like bopping as she's like just begins to like look around and like is tapping away at the um at the machinations. And she's just like you see her Loniko scribbling down a bunch of things as she like looks at some broken parts and as she's like looking at various like just contraptions you see her sketching out in really good detail bits of lo-fi boys in a, in the workings um and as she's sketching out you hear over the radio a the news comes on um it's the it's the midnight news as you guys are you guys have been going for a while and like Katsumi's got a, a wealth of notes as she's like written on this down. And you just hear on the radio um, the midnight news. And you hear word of the tomb of Shio Dakaru Akira Io was found um, just north of Haido. 
and was excavated by the Shirelion branch of the Adventurous League uh, very recently. Um, and the contents have been ex uh, retrieved and um, obtained by these adventurers that have been hired by the um, by the Nagahara Museum of History, and they plan on moving some of the uh, the contents of the uh, one of the Wisdom Kings to the museum within the next coming days. And they, they mention um, they mention um, what's the word? They mention how like there's plans of having. Um, a circuit of like these like the the exhibit of the tomb of the adventurous king to like go around all of uh shrey leo and just once the sunset rail has been repaired and they mention how um there have been notes that there is a, a possible um another discovery of the um the second the other tombs uh, locations have also been noted down on these on these maps and so they have a inkling that they'll be able to discover to send out more adventurers to find the other the other tombs so they can collect every all, all the history that the uh, the wisdom kings um had had um believed been lost to time um there is also another bit of news that you hear um in sadder um in sad in sadder or in more tragic um of, uh, news. Taj Mahal has come as before in a second tragedy as it has been set ablaze a second time as what is believed to be a a warring goblin tribe that had moved in had fought another goblin tribe that had also tried to uh, go, um, go in and they could the, the red lightning of their battle could be seen uh, all across um, central Haida Eo um they did there, there was belief that there was a league uh, of adventurers that were about going to dispatch to go um, and clear the, t the town's ruins but sadly um nothing's known of that excavation other than this goblin fight that happened as the town burnt once more and that is all the news that happens but kira you know, is is in. She looks to be almost in thought, and then just pacing around the room, and you can just hear her muttering things about the Wisdom Kings and how maybe, 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 maybe there is something she can do. But we're gonna end the session there. <laughs> can, I, can, I, can I do something? You can. I just wanted to, while um, Katsumi was taking like notes on my flyboy and stuff, um, to just like go over near the window and just basically try and focus on like the power that she felt earlier. Um, like the fire and stuff inside and just like hold her hands in front of her and basically just try and produce a flame <laughs> for the first mm. time in her hands. She can. Oh. Oh. <laughs> you can. You... Mm. When you're doing this, Yuki does appear for a brief second and just sits in the corner watching you. And as you... It's the same with how like you create music as a bard, or magic as a bard. You, you materialize your natural essence, and release it as as musical notes, and those notes form into magical expression. But this it, it feels it's a bit of an initial struggle as like it begins to spark and cinder away, as it like it almost opens up like a burning spider lily as like they form. But like every time, it's it's just very small. Um, but like on on the last one, you concentrate as much as you can, almost recalling back to when you learned wheels. 
and when you focus in on in on the spell and like you try to like almost apply some of your own like that musical magic to casting uh the produce flames it the the fire fully blooms and it burns beautifully and very bright and it almost dims out the rest of the room katsumi almost <laughs> like she, she's working she kind of turns because like she realizes like it's gotten a bit darker and she's like having trouble <laughs> seeing but like she's seeing you know, so she stops what she's doing and just watches and kiko and uh kiko's in amazement as this is happening but kira is still is just pacing around as this is as uh still mooring to by the wisdom king Yeah, I just wanted to make a little fire and then cradle it, sort of just cradle it in her hands for mm. a little while and then just put it out. And then just sort of go back and sit with everyone else. <laughs> Kiko gives you just a tiny clap when, when you produce it, when, when she sees and Yuki gives you a bar when he sees uh, the produced flame form. <laughs> That will that's that's the session. That was so so awesome. I'm glad. That was so awesome. It I'm was so a happy. it was a very fun time. It was a pleasure to 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 run this game and this, especially this session. This session I felt like was a lot of like really cool stuff happening, and it, it was. Really was. It was, and I I think it's funny how like we said, oh, this is gonna be a real chill, slow session. It's gonna be a bit of downtime. We didn't even get to the downtime. I know. Well, to be fair, the fishing was uh, uh the fishing was so fun. I'm glad. I'll have to like, I'll have to put that up on like the Discord at some point, so that you guys can, so that if those that are in the Discord want to to use it, because it's it was. I'm glad it was really fun. Cause, like I worried it was like gonna be boring. Oh no, not at all. I'm glad. Um, but yeah, no, that was that was, that was session seventeen of Throne Top Sands. We will be taking a break uh, from next week. Uh, we hopefully will be back to getting to uh, to sh to Throne Top Sands on the week after. I think on the tenth of July. I can't remember what it was. Math. Um, and then after that, we'll be Jailhouse Rocky, which is very exciting. And speak. Speaking of Kanzen, though, we will be the West Marches is currently on on a little pause, as I am full steam ahead with Jailhouse Rocky prep, and just making sure all my commissions and such are all good. Everything's good, Plogan. We've just finished session seventeen. I throw on top sense. It was a blast of a time. Some really cool stuff happened. Um, but yeah. Uh, before before I let you guys do your thing, um, I'm gonna quickly plug away at the things you do as a community. Um, firstly, this has been a charity stream. Yeah, it has been awesome. Uh, this has been a charity stream for Naral and their activism towards reproductive rights. If you would like to support that, you can. We don't use this as a platform for discussion or debate regarding it. It's just something that we as a community and a team support. So we would like to help how we can. And if you would like to help, you can through uh, donating. This is the last uh, stream where we're doing like the, uh, doing. Um, I will be personally like doing these donations um there's like fundraising uh but if you during today's stream if you subscribe or if you uh, cheer any bits uh that could be gifted uh, uh subs or cheered subs or prime subs those go towards a community donation that you can um that i will be like matching as a community donation if you would like to yeah it was a really good stream um secondly we do a West Marches game which is set in the same world as Shreleo and you might you've heard me mention a few little things that uh, are actually <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh boy. yeah there's there's some there's a little bit of crossover that you guys have like seen your boy Gosma for example um maybe the Wisdom Kings you might not have heard of Adam um what else is that? I think there was another thing but I can't remember what it was for the life of me um yeah if you want to get in on that West Marches and be a part of that little crossover Join the Discord. It is a wonderful place. It's got a beautiful art and D&D community. Some of my favorite people are there. Some of my favorite artists and D&D players are there. It's spicy time. We do a bunch of cool stuff. Go check us out. 
Um, if you enjoy the art on the stream, most of it is mine. Uh, all the token art, all the uh, little headshots, the map art, and or, well, the isotope map art, and um, all the what's it called, and the um, and the character art. That's uh, that's mine. Um, but we also um, the assets that we use for like the other like the battle maps. Those are by Two Minute Tabletop. Thank you, Nintada, for the one bit. I will add that to the uh, the donation fund. We are now at fifteen pounds six pence. Um, so yeah, go check out Two Minute Tabletop. If you enjoy my art, you can check it out on Instagram and Twiz. Um, we also have merch. Throne Top Sands merch is there. We need to get the Lo-Fi Boy and the Rocky merch out soon. That's on me. I am being very lazy and I'm being a really bad, a really bad content creator <laughs> on that end. <laughs> but there is some, there is Lonico merch. Um, there is even Pymer and Lacera merch if you enjoyed those characters from sessions 1 to 12, I believe. Um, yeah. Uh, Georgia, tell us about yourself. Tell us about all the things you do. Um, I am Georgia. I am lime or lime green artist, lime green archer, whichever one it is in the server. I do sometimes play in the West Marches as tacky, um, so you won't see me as low there. Um, but mm. I draw art sometimes on Instagram and twitter as well and i make jewelry and i am soon to be hopefully very soon to be releasing uh some D, &D themed uh necklaces mm. they are um, stunning for dm the fighter and the rogue uh if you want to see when that, those will be released uh follow my instagram yeah, go i'll be posting pictures of them soon she will be. go 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 check her out go support her she makes amazing stuff um, and Sam, tell us about yourself. Hi, I'm Sam. Um, I've been playing Lo-Fi Boy today, and if you want to find me, join the Discord. I often participate in the Art Nights with Kaz. Um, and yeah, like, uh, like I always appreciate the, the shout-out you do, Kaz, for the Twitch, but if you really want to find me, just... You know, come back here, and this is where I'll be crying. <laughs> <laughs> but, yeah, and, like, as always, like, no, I'm just, yeah, that, that, that's pretty much it. Just mm. thank you for being here. Yeah, we, if you've been lurking, if you've been watching the VOD, if you've been hanging out and chat, I hella appreciate it. Today has been a wonder of a session. I've had an absolute blast hearing for you guys. Um... We're going to raid into Cinderblock Sally, who we are actually going to have as a guest on tomorrow's, not tomorrow's, on um, Sunday stream, um, next Sunday, uh, where I'll be doing a new thing called Vibe Check. He better be streaming. Has he gone? Has he just finished? Oh my god, thank god he's there. Um, yeah, I do a thing called, um, we're going to be doing a thing called Vibe Check, where I bring on a guest and we're going to do some cool homebrewing or world building uh, as a thing where like we exercise one of their one of their skills and like Cinderblock does some great homebrewing content and so I want to bring him on and help him make me help help me make some yokai um so if oh, you want that's so cool yeah and he's and he does and his content is amazing he is hilarious he is one of my favorite streamers right now um so we're gonna give him some support we're gonna go we're gonna go say we love him we're gonna give him a hit with a vibe check or yeah we're gonna hit him with a vibe check and I have already hit raid. <laughs> You're already gone. <laughs> You're a star, Sam. <laughs> well, that was embarrassing. <laughs> What's, up? What's up, nerds? Here, let's let's have an epic moment together. What's up? I put a blind check. I Welcome to the show. No. <laughs> God, that was loud. You guys know what's up here. Nope. Nope. There we go. You guys know what's up. How's it going? Welcome, first time chatters. Welcome to the show. My name is Cinderblock Sally. Uh, I talk about D D, but oh boy, we do more than that here. Hey, the funny mics come out. We get a little bit funny fresh, you know.